Welcome to the Some Ordinary Podcast. I'm your main host, Caleb, aka Umpaville. This is the second host. <laughs> Nox, you can go. Oh, for hi, it. I am the second host. <laughs> I, I am the third host. Oh. Least, least Umpaville number two. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and oh. you know who the most important host is? The one temporary guest is our friend Meat yes. Canyon. What's up, buddy? Hey, hey. This is, is is this the first episode? It feels like this is the first episode with this uh, beautiful introduction. It seems like uh, you guys have really you know hammered this out to a to a fine oh, fucking T. Good lord! Oh, uh, God, is man. this an every podcast occurrence? I hope that your viewers get to hear this every time. Yeah, these. I nice. honestly, yeah. I feel like we should do script, that. Bro. I had a fucking panic attack listening to you guys just trying to introduce yourselves. Yeah, like you're trying to like navigate a minefield on that one. Well, when you said the second host, I was excited. Like I look at Nuxus like Avatar the most during this entire Riverside screen it's the most animated I, exactly, it's fucking amazing and then I'm always like he's about to do it he's about mm-hmm. to say it but because it's, it's a goddamn NFT that I'm looking at it's hard to gauge the emotional yep. impact he said the second host and then he just paused views. the man yeah. didn't like say my second host Nux or you whatever know, he just my second host you know I did my part I did my part I was just handing off the baton and you couldn't see where my hands were so mm. That is true. Well, I told yeah. you to get it excited like it was a sniper wolf video. I was expecting you to come in all angry and stuff like, ah, no. somebody here didn't respond to a kid with terminal illness. I hate women. Yeah. See, see, like, you know, you know, Oompa, every time I watch, when, the first time I watched your videos, I got a really heavy, like, misogynist vibe to it. And I'm glad after watching <laughs> 10 of them, I'm glad when I watched 10 of those videos, it was all fucking cemented. Like, yes, no! I'm right. <laughs> I'm not. That's not true. <laughs> I don't know, man. The amount of shit you got in your house, like urinals and long guns, makes me uh, question. <laughs> my urinal's over there now. Ooh, Were you scared so of today's ATF tweet, by the way? So it's, it's by the way, audience, it's like Valentine's Day today. We all, None of us had anything fucking better to do than this, by the way. So that, that solidifies what's going on. But did you guys see the ATF tweet today? I did not. I'm looking at it right now. Oh, okay. So the ATF tweeted out, basically, uh, hey, guys, uh, if you're on Valentine's Day and you have an ex that just stores guns in their house, let us know. Get your ex swatted, I guess. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's still up, guys. It's fucking amazing. Holy shit. That's not good. <laughs> it's not. But, hey, I mean, if I listen, if I was a federal agency... Hey, if I if I had a shitty ex, all right, I, I might send a tip to the ATF too. Okay, why not? All right, let's get let's let's the spread. The phrasing the is even worse than how you said it. Valentine's Day could still be fun, even if you broke up. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any information? Especially if you broke up. Oh Especially if you broke up. Well, because it was a Super Bowl yesterday, so uh, Meat Canyon, for those of you who don't know, um, produces a lot of animations that I'm just gonna be honest with you, scare the fucking shit out of me. Hell All yeah. right, like the first time I watched a Meat Canyon video, I was like, it was the Ed, Ed and Eddie shit. And I was like, mm. it's fucking weird. <laughs> you know what I mean? This is this is out there. But I like the animation style. Yeah, thanks. I appreciate it. Because of the football, because of Super Bowl, I watched your Tom Brady one. It's and I didn't know. I did not know the Tom Brady story. I did not know the Tom Brady kissing his son. No, thing. That's, that's the kissing his son one. on yeah. the lips thing? Oh my God, I, I love that. I that. That cartoon, that cartoon got my TikTok deleted and my Instagram deleted because they said it was child... Oh, what? what? Whoa, 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 what? So I, I had to re, I had to re get my, uh, I had like a TikTok with like a million followers, which means absolutely oh fucking God. nothing. But the uh, Instagram and shit, yeah, I, I've had to rebuild them both because, yeah, child. What? Because you went, you went too but hard YouTube on But YouTube only Brady. age gated it. So Susan won this time. Huh. Let's go. Wait, she ate, oh wow, Mama Susan. I don't know. I but saw that's your weird. One. You didn't. You didn't show any kissing going on. In no. There. You, you heavily implied yeah. that there was. Well, any. you know, we had. You know, you got to give them a little something. Can't give them the whole shebang. We got to give them a little something. But I was like, ah, eh, maybe I won't show. But I mean, it was. It was. It's weird though because, you know, you don't see the kids kissing. It's like, yeah, sure, it's implied or whatever. But. Uh, him just beating the hell out of his wife. No red flags. <laughs> no, that's there. okay. That's why. Like, like, you know what? Just let that one slide. They're like, that's easy. Yeah, God, that's like, that's fine. Like Oompaville content, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> that's Coca-Cola's that's... trying to throw ads on that. Yeah. Well, that that the, when I when that that's surprising. So you didn't get taken down for promotion of domestic violence, but you got hit for the other shit. Mm. 
Sma- smacking Tom Brady's wife in the face with six rings, that's fucking okay. But the other shit, name? no, 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 Giselle? that's wrong. Is that not her name? Giselle. Are you talking about Tom Brady's wife? Yeah. I have no idea what his wife's name is. I think it's Giselle. That's fucked I thought, up. I, th- you I see, thought you were doing I feel like, like you, Gisling I feel like you, I thought you were going in that route. Uh, no, 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 no. I, I feel like you should have at least known the first name of the woman you depicted yeah, getting beaten her in your Giselle. animation. <laughs> Giselle Bunchen. I, I don't something. think it looks like her. I don't know. Maybe it does. I don't, I'm not sure. I might have looked at. I might have said Tom Fra- Brady family photo. Try to do something, but yeah. Yep, him and his son. Good stuff. Ooh, long kiss. That was a, that, that when long. I saw that, it was like it yeah, is weird. Long. Yeah, I've never he, he, he gets the like one that. kiss. The first one I found weird, and then he's like, "No, no, no, that wasn't too long. Come back for another one." Yeah, I'm that like, was okay. Yeah, that <laughs> that's, was a classic. That's, a, that's a Super Bowl champion. That's a legend in the making. Well, it's, that's that's Tom, right? And then I love the reactions people had too. Like they were like ninety percent of them were like, "That's fucking weird." And then the one dude is like, "I'd give my son a kiss on the face like that." What's the problem? Yeah, I, I do like, love all the people that's... that come out of the woodworks of being like, "It's really not that weird." <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. Dude, like okay, guys, we're having fun, but like I kiss my dad all the time. It's and, like, trying, to get, trying to get people to come out and be like, "Me too," so they can be like, "Okay, thank God, it's normal." Yeah, it's not normal. Yeah, I've never it's... seen anyone like open mouth kiss their parent. You've never. Their- French, you never French kissed your dad before? No, I've never never oh. French kissed my father. Mm. Yeah, okay. no, I, I, the closest I ever got was like a kiss on the cheek, and then after that, it was like, mm, we're not doing that. I never even got that. I got a slap on the head. <laughs> well, I got that too, but like you know, there's sort of the rare moments of affection. Kicking you know, the ass like, a few few moments. Yeah, I feel I feel like the whole kissing my father thing on the cheek was like maybe when I was like six. Yeah. After yeah, yeah. that, it was like you're a cute little baby. I, yeah. Yeah, like after that it's like, mm-hmm. all right, kid, it's a little weird. Get Couple away from the Italians right now watching this show. Like, <laughs> you get your uh, you get your degree four years in the making and dad finally plants one on you. I it's, feel it's like either it, that listen, or your first first home run. It's one if of If I'm two. in that much student debt, my dad better French me after that. <laughs> yeah, like yeah. what the fuck? If my dad paid for it, I might have Frenched him. <laughs> oh Thank my you, god, Daddy. right? Yeah. <laughs> no, that'll, that, no. Then it's not your dad, it's more like your sugar daddy if you pay <laughs> yeah, your it's a fucking different kind of daddy. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Yeah, but yeah, no. Last night on the Super Bowl, so I I've only I only watch like the commercials and shit on it. Like I it can't I can't be fucked to watch the entire event because I don't do Super Bowls. But like they had a bunch of ads. But like you guys see all the fucking rappers and shit. You're like Fifty Cent, yeah. and, like Eminem, mm-hmm. everyone. Apparently, everyone was like fat shaming Fifty Cent out of nowhere, and I didn't get the full glimpse of it. He looked pretty good. He looked jacked. I thought he always looks good to me. I don't yeah. know what everyone was like shaming fucking poor Fifty Cent over. He was it. hanging upside down like Spider Man in the very beginning. He like dropped from the ceiling, doing like a reverse crunch. It was weird. Yeah, like from well, because it's, it's from that music video, right? Oh, I Which never one? saw the music video. Maybe yeah, the what you know, uh, go shot it's your birthday. Oh, yeah, okay. at, the, at the beginning of that, he's upside down. <laughs> I think in the music video. I think that was his whole thing. Did he did he sing that? Yeah, that yeah, is recreated. Li- I yeah, he, he sang that. Yeah, that is exactly yeah, yeah. the song they did. That make that makes perfect sense. Then also, it's like, yeah, why, why the fuck are people shaming this old man? Yeah, he's like fucking. Yeah, he's like fifty. Now. He's done good. Come on. He did I saw a lot of people more. on Twitter just freaking out like. This is so vulgar. The generation is falling so far that this is what people call entertainment. Charlie Kirk was saying that it was sexual anarchy, and I was like, sexual man, this anarchy. motherfucker was watching the porn parody of the goddamn Super Bowl because <laughs> I wasn't this turned off. This man was watching the Meat Canyon iteration of the Super Bowl. <laughs> Oh God! I was watching all Twitter going like Charlie Kirk's getting off to Fifty Cent or something. <laughs> like, like, but then it's weird because that dude is like twenty eight, so he's a year older than me. That means like his sex life must be boring as shit if he thought that was insane, you know? Because yeah. this by by definition, this was the most PG show I could ever see. Same. I think they're yeah yeah. He's just I could watch this with house. my parents. He just walk around his house with a boner, just like, this is so sexual, it's bullshit, it's fucking so fucking sexual, (laughs) my dick is so hard right now, and small. All these fucking rappers (laughs) at age 55, (laughs) fuck it, I'm so ready for it, Mm -hmm. shit! For me, it's like, I could watch this with my parents, like, when they had, like, the WAP music or whatever, I think it was, like, a couple years ago, they just had straight up softcore porn, it's like, man, I can't just sit down with my conservative Mm -hmm. ass family and watch the Super Bowl with them, it's gonna be awkward Did you see the, uh, um, so... Did you see the Ben Shapiro vocoded WAP song? Like, no, I didn't see anything. He was what? on he, Ben Shapiro was on his show saying how like it, it's all going to shit and stuff. Like society is getting ruined because it's like all yeah. about you know a wet ass pussy. Oh, and he wet, read the lyrics. The wet ass p word. The wet ass p mm-hmm. word. Wet ass p right. word. Mm-hmm. So then uh, someone vocoded the song and like they vocoded his li- his words to singing it. So you had him sitting there, you know. 
get a bucket and a mop for my wet ass Oh, yeah, yeah, I see, gotcha. I see that, yeah. Mm-hmm. That's... <laughs> Wet ass but like word. that's that's the wildest thing about all those guys on on the internet. I always I always thought they used wet ass p word to get past the YouTube like you know fucking <laughs> machine learning bot you know. But no, like to get their video green. It's but no, same. they actually are offended. It's the same they're society offended. from going into anarchy, bro. Yeah, yep. dude. It's dude. They're like actually scared of saying wet ass pussy. Like I'm not afraid of it. Like you know, there's. Are you afraid of it? I'm, I, I, it's too, it's too much for me. Sam, I prefer to call them pissers. Wet ass pissers. <laughs> you have a golden shower thing. Do you wish that it was different? <laughs> no, stop saying these fake things about me. <laughs> you <laughs> think I'm fucking weird? <laughs> oh yeah, that's us. that's now. our fault. Yeah, we're gonna convince. Yeah, you. no, that that's totally ah! our fault. Come on now. Did you see there was I this think... clip on Twitch? Of this one dude, like this Giga Chad Sigma male alpha grind set dude, that he was talking oh, yeah? to some. To, That's to like ninety nine percent of TikTok, yeah, pretty much. But he was talking to an <laughs> e girl, and he was saying like all two holes or whatever. And she's like, "Wait, how many holes do you think are down there?" He's like, two for pooping and pissing." Oh, and it's oh, like, "Wait, what?" No. <laughs> like, so like, where where did the babies come from? <laughs> uh, from the piss one. <laughs> it's like, oh God! <laughs> he went on the pisser, bud. He went on this whole oh, Twitter man. rant saying, "I'm being like, oh uh, God, I'm being gaslighted." People are trying to trick everyone into thinking I didn't know there were three holes. <laughs> oh, what a dumbass. Yeah. What an actual dumbass. <laughs> but like, you see that one girl this week on Twitch and I wanted to talk about her. I was hoping to God, like I literally like went to the mosque and I prayed like on Friday for this shit. I'm not joking. God, Twitch don't ban her. There's a girl that was doing the ASMR oh my God, fucking yeah. like, <laughs> you know? <laughs> Dude, dude, you know what's really fucked up? Like, I'm in my car, and I, like, fucking... So, like, I'm on Twitter, and my car's connected to Bluetooth audio. So it's like, that shows up, and I have my music set to, like, fucking max. So my car is just having... Like, like, it sounds like I'm getting the best head of my life in my car. <laughs> Amplified for all those around yeah, here. It's fucking weird. You're in a, Dude, you are in a drive-thru, and there's, like, the one, like, homeless guy outside. He immediately darts around, like... What the? F- I, I smell What's going on some, I there? I smell some sexual anarchy going on. Yeah, yeah. That's what... It's Charlie Kirk. Got a yeah, bone. Charlie Kirk's like, what's going on in that car? <laughs> yeah, but like that's what I heard, and then it's like so she's like sucking into the microphone, and then I'm like, this is fucking wild. How is this on Twitch? Like, I get ASMR. Look, I understand the ASMR tingling shit. Like, I get it. I've listened to it a few times. It's weird as fuck. But like, not weird. Like it fucks with your ears. Like, do you, have like you ever neat? listen to like? No, hmm? you don't. I think are you it's ever gonna do? Stupid. Yeah. Are you ever gonna do an animation on it? No, I mean I don't even know what I would do. I, I mostly see it on TikTok when I scroll by, and it's like the live, and it's like a person oh. with like long fingernails, and it's like, oh, I hate it so much. I I hate it so much. It's just fucking weird. Then people like, and then you click in it, and then it's like people being like, uh, like, <laughs> oh, I have, sh- I'm shivering. <laughs> no, but you actually do shiver though. I'm have you guys ever listened to it yeah. like, over? No, I, I you guys have. have listened to it with like so, full cans, right? It's, it's it's weird because like there's two sides to ASMR. There's like the ASMR that's meant to like put you to sleep and whatever. Like you know rain, you, you know people listen to like white noise or raindrops or whatever. Yeah, I do that. Mm. Yeah, so like it's mm-hmm. it's kind of like that thing, and that's like a whole genre. And then there's like the very sexualized ASMR that people listen to. And at this point, YouTube, like, I have a friend, GB, she does ASMR, uh, like, yeah. Oh, yeah, she's good. I, she's awesome. I love GB. But yep. she gets age-restricted all the time, because YouTube is like, ah, yes, ASMR, like, the thing on Twitch. Boom. Just Wait, she gets age-restricted? She for does real? get a couple of videos age-restricted and demonetized okay. for that. Even if it's not sexual, it still gets just completely taken... Well, like, she just gets fights it and that? wins. She, but you know, you have to go through the extra steps. Oh. Yeah. Plus, you also lose that time for the video to grow and yeah. like the money that it would make and shit. So it's just a headache. There's a guy I forget what his name is, but I've I've done a video on ASMR and he did. He eats. See, he eats a bunch of crazy shit. He has a few videos where he eats nothing, right? And he's just like, and he's just fucking smacking his lips. That was and just, really fucking good. Holy shit! And then uh, he's doing that, and then he also he eats tampons. Fake tamp, like boy. edible. It's fucking disgusting. Oh, they're fake. Uh, 
Yeah. I, I wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on. Isn't yeah. that like dangerous in your fucking body though? Like, they're not real. real. They're edible. That, that that's that's okay. the death-defying Houdini shit about it though. If an old boy's sitting there eating tampons the whole time, I'm like, God damn. Dude, I've seen that's, people yeah. eating like deodorant sticks. Like they'll just yeah, eat yo. Like, okay, that's not surprising. Sticks. Shoe Nice has been doing that for the better part of a decade. Yeah, but, like, no one wants to. Yeah. <laughs> He's still it's alive, fair. I think. It's fair. I, think. I don't know if he is. Wait, no, he's still alive. He, he's always lurking. He has yeah. to be. Yeah. If you he's say anything mortal. about him, he knows immediately. He fucking hates me. He calls me a little nerd. Wait, for real? Yeah. How the fuck did you oh, piss did you off Shoe Nice? What did you say is... Yeah, I, I did it like a video kind of showing people... Because like he was one of the first YouTubers I ever watched. So I, I've been fascinated by him and all the interactions he had with H3H3. And like he's been kind of touched by all these channels. So I did a video and I was like, I wasn't even mean, right? I was just like, I hopefully, hopefully he doesn't kill, you know, kill himself. And hopefully he's like, stopped drinking because he had that whole arc where he was just going absolutely mental. And Everclear he, bottle slam. Yeah, him. exactly. He fucking took it. He must have been really drunk when, uh, and if I say this now, he'll see this and he'll be, he'll hate all of us now. So get ready for that. I and, yelled at him once. He seemed nice. Really? You did? Yeah. yeah. I'm sure he's fine. to explain? He's like, <laughs> why, why, yeah. Why, 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 why like, we, uh, he slammed the Kool-Aid. And then he would just like drink a whole thing of Kool-Aid. And then he would say, ah, anime titties or something like that. <laughs> it, was, it was weird. What? Yeah, it's on my channel. What the? On one of my videos. <laughs> Okay, huh. we gotta we gotta get this link later. Holy yeah. shit! I also want to circle back and say that I guess saying that ASMR was stupid was harsh. It was a quick draw reaction. I guess what I, mean, I meant was wrong. the TikTok uh, the TikTok version of it. I really hate because it's people doing that, but then it's kind of like in the same vein of like uh, I don't know people like uh, it's just accepting donations the whole time or something. Yeah. So it's like it's ASMR but thanking people. So it's like a weird like tapping, and then it's like. Uh, Oh, th th thank you for the 25 cheers or something. Yeah, it's, it's, just very, it's, it's weird. I don't, I, I don't know. <laughs> it, 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 it freaks me out. I have it's to scroll ridiculous. away. But yeah, I, have no, nothing, I, I guess I have nothing completely. against them. I don't know. Dude, I, I I'm think not here making shit. enemies. One guy I said was really weird. He did Moto Moto ASMR, non ironically. Thought it was a joke. I thought it was funny. And I was like, oh, that's What's hilarious. a Moto Moto? Like, uh, with the hippo? It's me, Moto Moto. Oh, the hippo me? from Madagascar. Yeah. And he does Moto Moto ASMR. I said, that is the weirdest thing I've ever fucking seen in my entire life. I assume that's ironic. Uh, let's move on. He DM'd me on Twitter and was like, I hope you die young, you pathetic asshole. Hell yeah. And I was like, <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Wait, the he DM'd you that? Yeah, he hates me. And uh, uh, what the GB fuck? Fo he follows GB. GB follows him too. So he's he's in that like group. So GB did like a whole recreation of the B movie, like word for word ASMR recreation of the B movie for her three million subscriber special. <laughs> See, that sounds so funny. Cool. It was hilarious. Yeah, yeah, that sounds fucking amazing. Moto Moto, Moto ASMR is kind of weird. <laughs> yeah, anything Madagascar ASMR sounds fucking weird. Yeah, but hey, he wants you to oh, die young. You apparently, like fuck, you really, he doesn't it. like me. <laughs> you really, you really like. You guys get into some fucking drama with some crazy fucking people. Like, if you just enemies. <laughs> yeah, if you just put, if you just like make a video about someone, put someone in a video and say any sort of opinion, they just get really angry. I, I know. Yeah. I've, I've done that so many times that I've never gotten to beef with anyone. Well, like, you probably don't look at the like message requests though. I do, dude. You know how happy, dude. So when I talked about that Eli So Craig guy, the guy who fucked Peppa Pig. Oh yeah. So. You know who he is? Mm -hmm. uh, me? No, who is oh, this I have guy? no idea. I don't okay, know. Okay, so Eli So Cray is one of those like 3 a.m. channels. He's not so active anymore, but uh, I think he's got his life together. Like he has a kid and everything now. So like things have changed for the better. But way back in the day, uh, he would be like, oh, guys, Peppa Pig, like sacrificing Peppa Pig at three in the morning. And he mm. would like literally drown her in like a tub. Like there's a video that exists of him drowning the fucking character and shit. And I made fun of that. And I've never gotten any response out of it. Like there. There was one time where he was like, during the beginning of the pandemic, he's like, all right, boys, I got the cure to the coronavirus. Yeah. And like, he's straight up. Yeah. <laughs> it's, dude, so here's here's the cure, okay? By the way, YouTube, I'm, I'm not... Yeah. I'm not... This isn't Mudahar's cure. Yeah, this is Alarms, not medical yeah. advice. Alarms are going <laughs> off. <laughs> Eli So Cray was like, you guys should take DayQuil in the daytime and NyQuil in the nighttime. I was like... <laughs> This motherfucker really went that far. Yeah, <laughs> it's like God damn. His, his speech, his like his. I've watched quite a few of his videos. It's not they're not very good, generally speaking. He's like J Station, but he's like not trying as hard, but also trying hard enough to where it's really cringe and just really bad. He's like he doesn't. So he goes to college and everything too, right? Every time he opens up his phone in the video and he like fires up the mail app, 
Dude, all of his mail app is filled with like fucking him outsourcing his like college essay <laughs> system third world fucking He's awesome, dude. Like, he's so funny. And he he edits, brings it up. Like, there was a video too where I think it was the co- the COVID video where he he edited like a uh, a spike protein, like a a three D animated spike protein in his room. He was like, "Oh shit!" and he ran away from it, and it was chasing him. It was pretty bad. <laughs> what the yeah. fuck? We got he also had the one where he like butt fucked uh, Pennywise the clown and Siri from like iOS. Too. I like that one. That was though. one. He got he got he got the uh, so he's the only person on YouTube I know that got his phone's digital assistant pregnant, and that might be the fucking defining achievement of YouTube. Right, yeah, it's there. Pretty, none of us will ever it's pretty reach that point. But yeah, I think I think we might have all been a little hasty. I don't listen. I don't want to start no beef with the ASMR community. Same. I'm sure yeah. you all are fucking. I don't want it's a gang war on the internet. <laughs> that was a quick draw on my part. I. Don't even listen to me. I'm. I'm a. Listen, go after man. these guys, okay? I support. Go, you, go okay? after the hella sexual ones, okay? There you go. Go after the ones that are ruined. We should collab with with Moto Moto. We should all do our own Moto Moto ASMRs in solidarity. As we a should do it on Twitch. Twitch. Have you guys seen the ASMR category on Twitch? Though I love it, man. I jerk yeah. off the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I shouldn't say that. It didn't even feel natural I mean, like, when I said it all. That was terrible. Mean, yeah, but you're not wrong, though. Like, come on now. I got this is the thing with Twitch TV. I always find like it's so. Let's be let's be completely real. Like, not most of Twitch is softcore pornography. Right. Absolutely. Maybe like forty percent of the fucking ASMR in the just chatting category is. All right. Like, absolutely. Let's fucking let's not let's not pretend to disagree mm-hmm. on that one. Yeah. So when you go on there, it's like I feel like the general market for that is like. It, it's got to be kids whose parents have discovered parental control. So instead of typing like dot com, they're like, oh, well, Twitch, we get kind of the same experience, you know, almost. And the other one, it's like people just want like fucking social human simulator, you know, mm-hmm. that's where I think most of Twitch is. Right. Like when I go on Twitch, I feel like most people in the chat are like craving, especially on like the smaller streams. I think that's all of Twitch is. I was going to do a video <clears throat> kind of about that. I think streaming's cool. First off, I think that you have to be like a super fucking likable person i think that like you have to be good socially and stuff like you like it, it takes a lot to be a streamer i think especially to like uh you gotta stand out or yeah. whatever but I, I it does feel like the entire thing is um it feels like this kind of relationship where i think a lot of people who are like oh yeah i like this person i think it's a little bit more beyond that than like a youtube video where i think that people maybe feel like they're in that same kind of friend group and you can even see like friend groups, even uh, like usernames and stuff, chat back to each other in the chats and stuff. It's really fascinating. It's a kind of like an interesting, like new way of like having a digital friend group that you may never actually see or talk to outside of a platform. It's kind of a, it's a weird little ecosystem over there. And mm-hmm. that's why I think it got so much bigger over COVID. COVID people were just oh, yeah. really lonely and they were mm-hmm. like, oh, it all yeah, brings people it. together in that regard. Yeah. Well, when it comes to the personality, I definitely agree. Like if you're going to be a streamer, you have to have like. I wouldn't say it's so much like you have to be active 100% of the time, but you just, you're right. You have to be completely likable. There's a lot of streamers that are super high energy and streamers that are super chill, but it is just like, you got to be the charismatic person that can like keep the audience like there, you know, the whole way through. And, you know, on interestingly, when it comes to the idea of like the small friend group, when I was a much smaller channel, I used to stream on Twitch, right? So we'd get like, I want to say like 70 viewers, 80 viewers on average and stuff. But what was always interesting was when I wasn't streaming, that small like group of people there was an even smaller group that just literally would chat on that twitch chat section Mm -hmm. the entire time so it's like that was like their discord general chat for a (laughs) while you know like they would just go there and talk and it's always made me like because here's the thing with twitch like when you go to like an xqc stream or you go to like um you go to like a hassan stream any big streamer like anybody like plus 10k it's like what are you going to do in the chat right like how how the fuck are you going to communicate like the streamer can barely (laughs) <laughs> you can scream yeah. your Keck W along yeah. the other oh, Keck W. Yeah, like the streamer Sag. cannot read what the fuck everyone's writing. Exactly. It's all just emotes and shit. But when you go to like one of those streams that's like a few hundred viewers, that's like the best stream mm-hmm. for me because it's like, oh, yeah. yeah, you have the most engaged, you know, like personality on there because they're reading the chat. Like, that's why I love streaming on Twitch. Like if I go on YouTube and stream, it's a lot of fucking people. It's like a Twitch stream and it's it's cool. But like you can't read a chat, right? It's like worst, it's just yeah. it's like you look to the side. It's like oh, fucking blur. But on Twitch, it's like oh, I don't announce it, so it's like hundreds yeah, of people same. get in. 
but you yeah, can literally. Read. I think Uba, you saw me. I've seen it. a couple I, never, I, I, I don't tell anybody about it. I just literally <laughs> up go up, and sometimes it's like two hundred, like one hundred and thirty to like to three hundred in that range, just because it'll be like two in the morning or some shit mm-hmm. like that. But way 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 better chill stream so yeah, so much better it. it's fun so so much better. you're just fucking just singing when i when i joined in yeah, i was like man, this I is awesome i was singing yeah. along at like 2 a.m you started singing uh alan jackson or something like that it's <laughs> yeah, fucking yeah. awesome Dude, yeah, you can cool. just sit on there and like just it's it's also great because you can just be like yourself instead of like you got to tone yourself down a little bit. Like I feel like the large, and you probably notice this too. Like the larger Meat Canyon gets, the more do you have to like tone down certain aspects of your animations to abide by the TOS and abide by the. I really try not to. As much as I as much as I possibly can, I try not to. I try not to be redundant. It's very hard to think of new narratives all the time and stuff, yeah. and like be outside of your own. This is going to sound up my own ass, but like own consciousness. Like you're in this r- realm of thought. Of like, this is where your head's at. This is what interests you, right? Okay. But then pe- you can make some new videos and stuff, but it isn't so much that like, it's not that you're really trend hopping or you're doing anything like that. It's just you're trying to make something engaging and new and entertaining that people will enjoy and want to click on. But a lot of it could be like, people are like, oh, this is similar and stuff. Well, it's like, yeah, well, no shit, dude. It's like coming from the same spot. We're making tunes like every two to three weeks. So it's it's more about just like continuously trying to find like new and good ways to like, uh yeah tell a story i guess um but yeah never never yeah. try to limit myself ever yeah, I, i've noticed that try. like like objectively from watching the videos i went back and watched a lot of the old ones and i you kind of assume that it's going to go that way generally generally because that's how it goes because you just get fucking beaten into like you know square peg in a round hole type scenario especially if you're like an mm-hmm. actual artist um and you're not censoring yourself but i wouldn't say they've gotten any uh any less yeah unique or less meat canyon over time if anything they have gotten more so recognizable and more so like um yeah I'm like, you, the eeriness always it's stand it, that's what sets it apart right yeah, like when like i what you expect when I, you know in a good when way. my buddy first showed me like the animations i was like this is because it all started with ed and eddie and then like he showed a couple to me on like watch together and i was like this is fucking like it's because I immediately I was like, yo, this is kind of like creeping me out. I was like, one in the morning, it's dark and shit. <laughs> and then I'm like, all right, let's open up the rest of the channel. And then like the sun's coming up and I'm like, oh, I've already kind of like binged a majority of it. I'm still kind of sufficiently weirded out. But it's like, that's the that's the kind of like style you have going for you. So I don't think it's really more so like redundancy. I think it's just like you have a, it's like you have a unique style and you want to keep like being faithful yeah, and to it, right? Also, I feel like it's, it's like, it breaks down an issue to its core components and then you use those components to just make like a horror story. You mm-hmm. know? I try to, yeah. The uh, I think my favorite of the Meat Canyon videos kid, yeah. is... Mm-hmm. That's a is, horror uh, story. Uh, <laughs> that is a horror uh, story. <laughs> oh, God. What, what's it called? The kid. What's his name? The kid that plays Minecraft. Oh, Tommy, isn't it? Tommy in it. Tommy in it, yeah. That video is, I think, my favorite of your videos. Yeah, th- I, I actually asked him God. if it was okay. I felt It felt weird. He was like 16. Yeah. I, I messaged him, and I was like, hey, I was thinking about making this. Is this cool? And he was like, yeah, sure, go ahead. Because <laughs> awesome. I was like, I he seems God. cool. And he's yeah, he's square. Super, super that kid nice seemed, that kid, that kid, that kid is like, that kid always like seemed cool to me. Mm-hmm. Like, I, I, the only, the only sh- like thing I really know about Tommy in it, because I don't watch a lot of that minecraft youtube content at all but like when that kid was getting like canceled on the internet for some dumb shit i was like man dude just get 16 yeah that's the problem though with like that whole thing is like man being worshipped like a god like that and stuff especially if you're like uh i mean that was like the whole even the inspiration behind that video was like minecraft creators now are like a new religious kind of force for people of they like are. uh they're like setting in this example and they're like uh there's no way they can ever live up to like what their viewers expect of them and shit because i'm sure like if any of those guys ever were actually uh if they showed like oh this is how i act in person or something it'd probably be so much more vastly different uh than it is off camera or something because they're you know just talking uh like regular human beings or something like that but um yeah i don't know having that much like social force and stuff i think like like props you up uh, to such a like weird degree, man. It's it's really really well, odd. Because like the way that I've always seen that community is like they're very tight knit and close. It's like to get into that community, it's like you're large as fuck creators. Mm-hmm. You have a lot of younger kids, and they're very like socially like politically correct in that zone. And everyone like considers you to be like this arbiter of like 
like this paragon of like good, you know, like mm-hmm. you're a good, yeah, perfect morality. person. Mm-hmm. And it's like, it, it always made me wonder. I'm like, yo, at 16, this guy's got a bigger career than most YouTubers that I've ever seen ever. Yeah. yeah. You know? Like Easily. I'll fully admit, I will never have a career as large as Same. Tommy in it. And I understand that that's a reality of it. But that kid at 16, it has that career. And he's already like, that's the problem. Like he's in this situation when, when I was way younger, like nine years ago on YouTube, yo, it was a wild west. You could kind of do whatever the fuck you wanted. You can make a million jokes, but like in this current climate, oh man, at 16 fucking that kid's got it. Like you're on like the, you're on like the thinnest tightrope imaginable. So it's like, fuck, I don't. And here's the thing. I think it's also different too. Like if it came out tomorrow that like you fucking, okay. If Twitter turned turn it tomorrow and it was like some clip of me on like modern warfare, calling somebody like all the names in the book, I don't think anybody here would be surprised. Likewise, if any of you guys got caught doing that, I'm like, oh, I expected this. I knew you guys are different <laughs> off of the camera, you know? Like, no. I expected. No. <laughs> what? Uh-uh. No. Right? But it's like, those guys, you're right. Like, if it comes out that, like, like uh, fucking, they say even the slightly, like, you know, edgiest thing, you know, off of, like, you know, camera, because everyone does that on Discord. Everyone does that in a game. Mm-hmm fucking immediately removed gone you know no more no more fan tons of apologies having to be given on twitter which is like fuck it's a nuisance it's an annoying world but it is what we live in but interestingly on the minecraft stuff so like i made a couple minecraft videos and i don't know if like youtube sent you guys this but it's like contribution to minecraft and i was like oh i made like one video i don't think i contributed at all and they they literally called the minecraft like dream smp thing it was like this generation's game of thrones i'm like that's yeah i got that that's yeah that's fucking insane dude like mm-hmm. they were calling it game of thrones and i was like what are they got like stories and everything is there like a political faction there is like... though there is <laughs> that's why it's there's, so there's like dude. lore and shit i'm pretty sure yeah. there is yeah. the smp yeah it's very odd the smp lore yeah. that's why i'm saying we should make like the cracked and smp like everybody that gets <laughs> kicked out from that smp needs to come to the cracked it would be really funny if it's just a bunch of youtubers that actually were doing crack while playing and then it <laughs> yeah. was just like that like that would actually be so entertaining getting to see people smoke crack or meth or something on <laughs> camera I, and then i play my, yeah, minecraft well i feel like most okay, of the youtube yeah, gaming yeah. creators most youtube gaming creators I'm, i have to imagine are pretty much on like cocaine or something like yeah, sometimes imagine, yeah so, some kind of upper or even like adderall or like mm-hmm. uh, just pills some crazy thing well i watched a quibble cop video uh, a week ago and i i'm not saying it but that motherfucker was on something 100% Colombian. And I don't think it was coffee. That's all I'm just going to say. That dude was like hard into the video. You should get him on like... uh, the next podcast to clarify <laughs> your statement. We should. I mean, no, listen, we should. when you start off your video within the first second, when I'm like, all right, I was like, calm down. Just bet. Like, I felt like Vitaly when he was giving out sandwiches to homeless people. I'm like, just back off. Stop. <laughs> I was like, relax. <laughs> I forgot about that. God yeah, damn. Same. The fuck? I watched that video again. It was the funniest shit ever. Though, yeah, like the off. fact that he could, the fact that he could have edited that section out mm-hmm. and he just kept it in, like just back off. And then beat the shit out of a random lady on the on the street three years later. <laughs> so funny you mentioned Quibble yeah. Cop. He actually messaged me a few days ago. Um, because I tweeted I consent to be reacted to because there was this one guy, guy who compared reaction YouTubers to like rapists. Oh, yeah. that was a dark viper critical. Yeah, stuff. didn't yeah. he? Uh, didn't he call Charlie out specific or something like that yes. specifically? Yes. No, no. So the whole oh, thing over there, him. I think how it happened was Charlie reacted to that document, and then he made a video back yeah. on Charlie, and then Charlie responded. Yeah. Well, in the document, the, he he mentioned Hassan XQC, Pokimane, and Moist Critical as like oh, low okay. effort dog water reaction streamers. Oh, I see. So he did, he did call out Critical first. Critical made a video and then kind of like went in on him because a lot of the Twitter replies kind of like he he, yeah. he likened the lack of consent that, that reaction streamers uh, use Want. to yeah. being someone you should watch out at like a party. Yeah, at a or, party. So like, it's like his they actual might example like was like, yeah, cover your drinks God. if a reaction yeah. YouTuber is coming to sit next to you. Motherfucker, <laughs> hey. That's a, that, that's a three pointer in the last couple seconds. God damn, that's a shot. <laughs> I, I was watching Holy that. Like, I was watching that shit on stream one night, and I was like, "You were reacting, <laughs> Ted, bro." I oh was, my I god! I was, I was reacting to the reaction of a reaction. <laughs> so I'm like, god I'm sitting damn. there playing GTA, and I'm like hearing this like doc, and I'm like, "What?" Like when I heard that like one comparison, I'm like, "Okay, what the fuck?" Mm-hmm. <laughs> we gotta relax yeah. a little bit. T- to be fair, like I understand so. 
it's interesting because I'm like friends with like we're friends with both Charlie and Dark Viper. Mm-hmm. Like, they're, here's the thing: like Dark Viper's idea of like reactions on Twitch. Don't get me wrong; there's a lot of Twitch like streamers. Like Hassan's a good friend of ours, but let's not fucking joke around. Sometimes we'll put a video <laughs> up and just like fucking Dude's walk off Master the screen, Chef, and he's cooking himself. <laughs> not even the same yeah. Yeah, like, like what, bro? I have to eat, bro. I have you to know eat. how they, you, you know how they have that like live Tucker Carlson reaction with mm-hmm. him like just stare. Like I, I saw the meme today where it's like live Hassan reaction. It's just like an empty no. gamer chair. Yeah, I saw that. We use that in the, uh, as an edit in the video, actually. That's the exact thing. Yeah, Dude. but like, but, but there's two types of reaction content. Like, not all reactions are created equal. Yeah. Like, you see the XQC shit where he's like, okay, fine, uh, chat, fuck the copyright, okay, let's watch Hunter x Hunter. Like, he's like, all right, I guess let's, I can't watch MasterChef. Let's, let's watch Hunter x Hunter and get fucked let's on Let's sue the Olympics. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe it. Yeah. Dude, I, I can't believe it was about to counter sue the ICC, like, counterclaim that. I'm like, bro, you are, you're not poking the bear, you're fucking the bear in the ass is what yeah, you're doing. Yeah, hibernating. Right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. yeah. <laughs> but like and, and then like yeah so i get the idea of like lazy reactions you know so as somebody like I, I i'm just gonna say it this is just my belief like if somebody watches my video in its entirety on a stream i don't really care you know like for me it's like Same. if you it, especially if it's like a serious video like i'm talking about like some real fucked up scam that i rather want to be out there i kind of don't care if like my video gets a million views and like Hassan re-uploads that and he gets like 4 million views. It doesn't matter to me because that means in my head, 5 million people have seen it, right? Which is ultimately more important than whatever fucking money I would make on the video and whatever it would give to my channel because I ultimately like the information and getting out there. But like I would imagine if you were, let's say, a smaller creator and it's like this is your one banger video and all of a sudden somebody took your banger video and fucking hijacked them completely. I can absolutely understand the complete frustration on that one. So, so I, I this is actually ahead. kind of like a huge topic for Meat Canyon because this man makes three minute animations and it takes him like two months to make the video, mm-hmm. and he you probably get a hundred reactions to every single video you post at least. Yeah, um, you know a lot of people. <clears throat> I really don't mind it. Um, it's fine. I mean, like that's it. I mean, inevitably, it has to be a way that like my channel's grown too and stuff, and like communities have been cool and have been like, mm-hmm. oh, cool. And, there's that kind of thing. The only thing that feels discouraging about it is I think that it also breeds a lot of like, um, how would you say it? It's like you'll upload a video and they're like, Oh, I can't wait till X reacts to this or mm. something. Mm. And it's just kind of like, yeah. I don't know. It, it, it's a very different form of like uh viewership or something. Uh, once again, it's cool. And like, I'm glad. And like, you know, I've, I've seen people where they like it or they hate it and that's all cool. But yeah, it also feels like there's no real way to be like, Oh, you know, oh, maybe don't not not that I would say this, but I think as a creator as well, it's also like, oh, don't maybe don't watch it because I think it makes you look like a dick or people are like, what's the big deal? It's like beneficial for you because I think a lot of people and a lot of viewers don't understand, um, I guess, that kind of like power dynamic in that relationship or something, if that makes sense. But yeah, yeah, I mean, but it, it's also at a point too where it, it doesn't even matter. There, it'll it'll happen regardless. So it's just like you know, let people do. I, it. Think, I, I think fighting it just like puts you at like some weird crossroads with the community. It's like because I I feel like when it comes to YouTube, like the less like I don't want to be confrontational about shit that is ultimately out of my control. You know, like yeah, does it kind of piss me if somebody's going to put my entire video? I think what actually gets me though is like when I'm making a point and like somebody reacts to the video and they don't even like understand the point you know like they fucking they're like they come in with a bias they come in confrontational and it's like oh you're wrong you're wrong i'm right i'm right i'm like all right well you're not even gonna even try mm-hmm. now you're misconstruing a point that's different but like it also kind of gets me with somebody like he put on a video and they just walk away you know it's like oh come on now yeah like, i mean like if somebody face. reacts to like one of my full if they upload my full cartoon and they don't do anything it's just their face in the corner or something yeah, like and it's like monetized and shit. shit and i'm like well dude like come on man you know like like what the fuck uh like that yeah. kind of that, that that sucks a lot but um yeah because yeah. you work like what two foot you work two months on something and somebody like takes 20 minutes to rip it and like re-upload it yeah that's yeah, success yeah yeah it's why don't you like use the copyright id system for videos like that i that think it's just i think it's just too uh i don't know 
Because I, mean, I like, would, I, I, example, I think like I don't, especially on my main channel. Like I've been trying to do on my second channel, becoming more of like, I guess, a personality and having people give a fuck about like the man behind the channel, you know. Yeah. But mm -hmm. like as Meat Cannon, I mean, there's still a lot of people who think that it's just like a like a corporation or like a something like that. And yeah. I think when you get I know into when you get into corporation would make those animations <laughs> a good one. Uh, the, uh, yeah, the, no uh, normie corporation would do that. What the fuck? But uh, I think it's I, I don't know. I I, I don't want to be known as somebody who's like trying to like take down shit. Um, even like it, it just feels weird. It feels really weird because I don't. I mean, I don't know. I don't it makes you an enemy I, of the I, state, I, I, so to speak, yeah, on YouTube. Especially if you're not a personality, and people are just like, oh, well, don't even react to him. He took down X, Y, Z, or, you know, no, no, but yeah. I mean, this like, person's for channel, example, or blah, you know, blah, blah. You know, Hell of a Boss or whatever, or mm. Has Been Hotel, like full animated series on YouTube. Each one has like 20 yeah. million views. They have a built in copyright ID system that bots will copyright claim every, every re upload or reaction. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, you know, I, mean, I don't know if that's right or not. I mean, I the the weird yeah it's weird man it's weird I I enjoy being a part of the YouTube ecosystem I think it's cool it also feels like sometimes people react to things you're kind of poisoning other sections of like maybe like it's other people's algorithm and you're getting seen more so that's cool but also it's just cool of feeling like uh, your content can exist on multiple channels and stuff too um, if it's a full fledged show I could see that because they're probably spending like. I mean, like hundreds of thousands of dollars making those episodes. So it's like whenever they want, like, no, we need to make our investment back. So I totally understand that too. Um, yeah, it's, but who knows? It's different if you're like a commercial entity versus like a YouTuber, which the lines have really blurred in that because mm -hmm. most large YouTubers are by technicality also a commercial entity at some point. But like, it's different because like when you're in a community, right? Like everyone knows one another. So it's like, like and what, by knowing each other, it's like if you impede on somebody, right? Then the other nine hundred people, are, like the other people in the community, are gonna like stay away from you. It's like you're you're basically like self ostracizing yourself, and nobody yeah. wants to be the fucking odd one out in that situation, right? And, and you could and you, like you could be a person too that does like reach out to somebody on Twitter or something and be like, hey, do you mind like not react? Like what you're doing, I'm not cool with. Whatever. Mm -hmm. I think that I always assume that if I ever did that, that people would be like. I get the face value like, oh yeah, for sure, man. And then yeah, they would just immediately turn and like talk to all the people and be like, you'll fuck that guy, blah blah blah. He's yeah. saying this or that. That shit happens, yeah. Like, yeah. You'd immediately be like on Discord. Mm. It's like a fuck to, meat candy and that guy's mm. bitch. To speak man. from experience with like a lot of I have a lot of very normal reaction channel friends. That is absolutely the truth. I know at least five channels that if they reacted to your content and you reached out to them, or if you copyright struck, struck them, they would make a video about that. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, dude. And that, that really sucks. Cause like I have respect for like my channels reaction channel. So like, I don't have a lot of respect for myself, but when I see stuff <laughs> that like people, like if I, I react to something you. that I respect genuinely, I always yeah. in the beginning of the video, please beg. My email address is in the description. Contact me. If you want me to delete this, I will not fucking fight this even a little bit because I'm only doing this to pay for something that I bought and have to pay off. All right. <laughs> like to be totally honest with you. Um, and uh, it's candy related, by the way. But um, so like and a lot of the people are not on the same. A lot of a lot of my reaction friends are not really on the same wavelength and they're good people. But like it's more it's more it's like their business more so you it's, don't you don't take it as personally either as a thing right no like, i don't take it i would never take it personally because yeah. i think they'd be illogical truthfully um but yeah the only time i ever take it personally is like if i'm shitting on like a crappy channel like you know those fake story time channels where it's like yeah i got pregnant by a bear yeah those fucking totally suck, real dude. true story those aren't even those, close yeah. to being the same <laughs> so those suck ass and i make fun of like one or two they're the they're the only people that have ever sent me the shittiest legal text I've ever seen. Yeah, really? It's God. like, sir, if you don't take down your video, we will sue you. And then I immediately forward them like a lawyer address. I'm like, yeah, just go ahead. Like, fuck, go ahead and do it. I mean, <laughs> okay, go, like, go off, king, see, I guess. That's not really a reaction video. That's a critique. Like, that's a full on transformative act. Oh, that's what I say cuz I cuz I keep telling you I'm like based on the fucking legal system what I did was and I make sure all the shit that I do is like super fair use like fucking mm -hmm. I make sure that I only show you like the 5 seconds of like video that I have to show you to make a point. I don't go above and beyond that. So it's like when they were sitting over there's like sir, you just I'm like I didn't rip off your content. I showed maybe like 
10% of your video in the entire, like maybe like 5% of my video's runtime was your fucking crappy video. And yes, I made fun of your stupid story. No, and if you, you want to see, go for it. I think you guys both do a good job about like, I don't know, editing. Uh, I mean, I was like, I was saying to you the other day, but I thought that your editor's awesome. And I don't know, it all feels very Start transformative. There, there, it's a very clear line. Like if you put them side by side with like somebody who's actually doing something different and like mm-hmm. making a video for their community versus somebody who you can tell it's just like a cash grab on like a popular video or something, you can tell, mm-hmm. like you yeah. can so clearly tell it's, it's, it's night and day. It's good. I'm glad you say that too. Cause like, cause genuinely speaking, it, people request the weirdest shit they're like hey react to this react to this react to this Mm. people literally in my community just want to see me do the stuff that i don't want to do genuinely Mm. speaking like but for some reason they love it and it's not there's nothing like bad about what they want they just want to see those two things like combined for example i did a video with soup and mcnasty these two youtubers the other day and like the comments were so insane they're like i've been waiting years for this to happen i never even thought and no one even asked for it but all these people came out of the woodwork and they just, they see it like, like that, you know, Which I would be interested that, to see. We kind of got that response on this podcast too. Yeah, like, yeah, what? exactly. You guys know each other? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, that was really wild. There's like, like, communities are just so, it's so interesting and, and like the, especially the positive actors in the community. It's, it's a really, it's a really unique thing. And I feel like your community is extremely positive. Uh, yep. meet for sure and same with you muda and, and nux as well i mean it's we all have we're all pretty lucky to be honest i don't think we have like a crazy violent yeah. like we don't have one of those like insane communities where it's like you know back in the days of leafy they were just like dropping yeah. his comments yeah. <laughs> like yeah. everyone and all that shit i remember, fu- I remember before i even knew about that i would like go come across a video that was like just recommended and then like look at the comments and it's like seven thousand comments of people just putting hiss and i was like what the fuck even is this yeah, I did. Was I was like, what kind like, of is this? Like a channel meme or something? I'm like, I have no idea what this is. That was the wildest shit that I've ever. It was very seen crazy. Too. Like yeah. he, he went like everyone was just his out of nowhere. That was like because mm-hmm. I I didn't even know it was such a it was such an insane amount of hiss that I didn't even know who the fuck it was like isolated to. Yeah, nobody I was, was so right in the leafy in there. I was like, who's hissing? Who the fuck is is this Markiplier? Did he fucking say hiss or something in like a FNAF video? Like we say all his, got please. fucking. It's always yeah. weird. It's, it's it's always funny too. The uh, as soon as you see something, you start like seeing it. Uh, at least content wise, like uh, with a bunch of different people, you see the similarities of like the clones, I guess, that come out of the woodworks. Like as soon as I found out what Leafy was, I was like within like hours of just being on YouTube, like working and like looking at videos, I came across like so many other like. Hey guys, so this is what, and it's the uh, mm-hmm. CS:GO surfing thing. Yep. Yeah. The whole time yeah. they all did Hundreds. that. It was it it, it, it it so many same game. Even yep. I'm like, why not just put on a different game? Just doing the same shit. Any other game? It's so weird. It's crazy. But I mean, you know, yeah. It's just it's it was fucking it was well, very, cause, very yeah because it's the one thing that trended and it worked like crazy and it's like and that's the thing with being a clone that I find is always the funniest shit in the world. It's like clones never win. Like they never even have success in anything. Because it's like, you're just literally watching the RC Cola of like what you could just watch on the fucking, and no yeah, offense. What's already who, free. Yeah, no <laughs> offense to people who are like huge into RC Cola. Like I know there's fucking. I love RC Cola. <laughs> Nobody. No, Not, you no, you're lying no, to you yourself. Don't. I fucking love no, it. No, I, 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 I'll fully admit it. RC Cola is fucking trash. And moon fucking pies? Dust. You don't need it's, to drink RC Cola and eat a moon pie? It's dust in a can. It's the fucking <laughs> Dude, worst. RC Cola is ass. It's so it's good. So what are you bad. talking about? Are you getting fucking like fucking sponsored by them or something? Like <laughs> that would be great. That would be so good. Just yeah, he has like a sponsor. Big RC Cola sign. <laughs> RC Fuck, Cola fridge thirsty. full of RC Cola. Like I like listen. The first time I ever had RC Cola, first time in my life. Immediately, my first words were, "I'm like, man, I should have just bought a Coca Cola." <laughs> Dude, you like, fucking asshole. <laughs> RC Cola is so good. I love it. Why would you eat it with a moon pie? What That's does like that do to the flavor? The only, time, the only time I've ever seen somebody that actually had RC Cola in their fridge, I was like, I was like, hey, do you got anything to drink? Yeah, we got a. Uh, it's kind of disappointed and shit. He's like, yeah, RC Cola in the fridge is there. <laughs> and someone's like, well, it's, it, it's also like Fago, right? Like you go to somebody's fridge, you open it up, it's like. You got some. You got something to that's tell more, me about. Like, do you that's have a, a pleasant surprise? <laughs> what? Ooh, Fago. that's what I say no. when I see Fuego in the deal. What do you say oh. when you when you open it up and there's RC in there? Oh, oh, oh no. dude, fuck 
you it's different. Like, if I, the, the only yeah. reason someone would have RC Cola if it was leftovers from a party because no one wanted to drink it. Like, that's the only reason someone would have RC Cola. I'd, like, I'd love to go to a party where someone's like, dude, I picked up RC on the way. It's like, it's, why? <laughs> dude, <laughs> I got a that's, what, RC. That's, what, that's what I hate when somebody comes to a party and it's like fucking, oh, it's like, you don't ask anybody to bring booze, but like, sometimes somebody brings the booze and it's like, oh, you bought Miller's Light? Thanks, man. Might as well have not fucking bother, but I appreciate the like gesture, I guess. I fucking hate it. Dude, I'm from the South, coffee. and so are you, Meat, I assume. You live in Texas, so I assume you're yeah. born here, but... Uh, I was born in Missouri. Okay, that's city. still kind of the South, right? Not really. Yeah, pretty much. Um, hey, Meat, you're the only 10 I see. Oh, happy Valentine's Day, motherfucker. I, I, I was in Kansas City. I had nothing to do with Tennessee, but that's, that's all right. <laughs> Um, yeah, Wait, what did spell. you say? Did RC I just like zone box. out completely for a second? Yeah, Wait, a what stroke. Are, that's right. What's up with the RC and moon pie? Give us it's it's a thing. It's like a it's like a southerner thing. RC and moon yeah. pies. What is it like? Fuck up the you. flavor? Is it like is it I'll like brushing you. your teeth and the slamming teeth, a the fucking? Teeth, the teeth are already corroded, so they're just like <laughs> texture <laughs> and, and mouthfeel means nothing. Were you, Dust also, were you about to defend Miller Lite in this fucking uh, no, call? No, no, Miller Lite sucks. No. It's Miller sucks. Lite's okay. fucking okay. ass. I was like, there's no way yeah. you can logically defend that. But I love, I love RC. I know they haven't had many influencers repping their brand, but I'm, please, subscribe. Or, or, you Would know. that be your dream sponsor? <laughs> yes, dude. That'd be so I, Dude, I want, I want Totino so bad. I'd so give it. I'd say Totino's uh, party pizzas, bro. I have a contact, up. actually. I did a sponsor with him a couple years ago. All right, dude. Well, I'll send him your big way. dick swinging, apparently. You know, I, yeah, I well, know the guy. I, I would love like Cheese Whiz as a sponsor, to be honest with you. I'd love Tatino's that guy. shit. I know Tatino. Fucking Cheese Whiz. Cheese Whiz yeah. would be my fucking idea. I wish that it was though. just a pile instead of all those, uh, what is that G Fuel back there? Instead of that, it was just yeah. Cheese Whiz. I know, dude. Empty I would box fucking... of crackers and Cheese Whiz all over <laughs> the Literally, like, I would fucking love to have Cheese Whiz as a sponsor. And here's the thing I fucking hate Cheese Whiz. I just what? love how horribly what? processed that shit is. I do. Like, it tastes like ass, okay? It does. It's fucking disgusting. It's canned it cheese. <laughs> exactly. It's That's exactly why I'd want it, because it's like the epitome of, like, gamer shit. Like, I can't fucking get... Like, it's like that's like the one gamer snack that's more gamer than fucking G Fuel shit. It's just having Cheese Whiz. Just the first time whiz. I ever had it, my dad's brother brings it over. He, like, fucking... He buys he buys this fucking jar of it and he comes back and I'm like all right this is my first time having cheese whiz let's see what fuck, let's see what the hype is I fucking have one bite of it like on a fucking crap I'm like mm, never fucking again this is trash you should try it again then if it's been that long maybe your taste buds have changed I pff, yeah cheese. maybe the, maybe they've just become worse they have, as you get older yeah. it has to yeah, mm-hmm, yeah. definitely well, maybe that's why he likes it. I really thought that your story was going to go into a realm where you're like, yo, yeah, my dad, the very first time I ever had cheese whiz, my dad came back and uh, my uncle was shot or something like that. And we're like, what? Just something totally out of the woodworks. Like a traumatic Same day I had it. I I mean, I wish my dad shot my fucking uncle for fucking bringing that home. But like, (laughs) Christ, that would have been a way better fucking story. (laughs) Well, like, shit. No, he like, he brings his, and here's the, here's the thing. He's like one of those like dudes who's, so my family, we're all like immigrant families and shit. So it's like. When he came to America, like he's like trying really hard to be American. Like fucking <laughs> That's awesome. If you're if you're a hundred percent American Oompy, he's four hundred percent American, you know? <laughs> That's fucking he's like, awesome. shit, I love keeping up with the Kardashians and I love fucking cheese whiz. <laughs> and I'm like, bro, you don't have to go that far into the American yet, okay? You don't have to jump that huh. deep. I didn't know those things were American. A, apparently, well, he's he's from New York, so it's like they're like oh, fucking. Okay, and yeah. no, no disrespect to anybody from New York, but Total like, no, fuck the, you if you're from New York. Yeah, <laughs> fuck you, <laughs> everyone from New you're York. You're the only you fucking and, you state. And your, you and your bodegas, fuck you, dude. I say unto thee, middle finger. I love how Nux is just like deeply quiet right now. <laughs> I, I was <laughs> just in closest. New York and I absolutely hated it. I, I was there for like a month and it was horrible. How many giant lived, rats did you see? More than one. Yeah. I, I lived in Bushwick. I, I worked in Bushwick, Brooklyn for like, uh, I think it was like four or five months. And that was Jesus. fucking crazy. Every bo- every like corner store or bodega or anything like that, they just put organic. They like write Sharpie organic on the outside. They just like, <laughs> everything. It's, it's not even organic or, either. No, it's, it's just, just, just Lay's exactly. chips. It's organic. <laughs> organic. Organic. <laughs> organic <laughs> cheese whiz. Just, Here exactly. You go. Oh. Organic cheese head, or we can make a bo- like a boar's head sandwich. And you're like, okay, I guess. Yeah, and it's like yeah, twelve dollars. <laughs> 
All right. But yeah, that that's the price you I think it's more expensive than like Los Angeles even. I think so. I'm yeah. At least for what you get, definitely. Like at Los Angeles, it's definitely steep, I know, but at least way more elbow room. Like you can at least uh live a little more comfortably, I think. Mm -hmm. Here, just for the New York people, Los Angeles is also equally a shithole as well, too. I agree. I'm just, yeah. I'm gonna straight up say it. I was when I was down a lot, that's the only city. Aside from Houston. No, not even Houston. Where I've had like two crackhead encounters within a 30 foot distance, you know? Like, you can't be in West Hollywood and not see like a crackhead's cock at least once on the weekend. That's that's the image I had, you know? And it was that one moment in my life where like, you know, when you like look at a tiger in the eyes and it's like, oh, you maintain eye contact, otherwise they're gonna attack you. That's that's exactly what I had to do to maintain my safety in that fucking city. Never had to do it wait, in New York. Wait, wait, yeah. Wait, wait. Okay, so it's it's For a first West off, Hollywood. The, 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 well, the analogy of you looking at a tiger in the eyes. <laughs> yeah. I don't know when that became applicable to you, but then so you, you're looking at this crackhead with his bare cock out, and you're just like this. Yeah. Well, I have I to. Make he's, eye like, contact. he's like, he's oh. fuck me right in my ass. No, 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 no. I do. I I looked down at the cock <laughs> once, and I immediately went back up. Like it's hard. It's it's. Fucking the hardest shit imaginable. Hard. Oh, it was. It was uh, I don't know if it, no, it I wasn't was like, hard. Whoa, he was limping. He, he had a he had a limp fucking cock. But like I like it was like one of the look him in the eyes and it's like I looked down for a second. I'm like, all right, he's exposed. Oh, that's sad. Maintain the eye contact right there. I, it was kind of sad because I was like, oh, so I guess I'm not attractive enough for you to be fucking hey, raging a hard one on. Dick's all limp, little baby dick in his hand. You're yeah. Just like, but he just like kind of runs off into the darkness, and I'm like, all right, cool. Like a cockroach, just. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, Holy yeah. shit! What the fuck? What if he came back and there was like six more of them, but they look all identical? Oh, dude, like, all I, that's what I. Hands. That's what I oh. thought. That's literally what I thought. So I was like, so happy that the Uber came in, and I was like, all right, let's get the fuck up out of here. All right, we'll deal with whatever's after. <laughs> I was like, shit, this is. Like it, it's one of those situations oh. where like the guy comes up to you and it's like I ha I knew in my head like I have to maintain eye contact because the moment I look away it is like a tiger like he's gonna come and lash at me he's gonna like destroy we had a crackhead the night before washing his asshole on the driveway of the Airbnb like I pulled in and it was like somebody at the front door I'm like who the fuck could this be he was washing his asshole full how was he doing that well because there was a little uh like tap mm -hmm. outside by the front door where like you know. Oh, yeah, so the he was spigot positioned like... up and he had his asshole pressed up against it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he was like by drinking. there. The spigot was running, so he was like fucking washing the ass. And the way that I noticed, I pulled up right next to this man and I locked the car door and I was like, ah. Oh. <laughs> well, I mean, at this point, at this point, it's like you can either roll down the window and be like, get out of there, or you know that his <laughs> hey, ass is get already. Out of there. <laughs> yeah, like <laughs> I, I could have done yeah. that, but then. I... I felt like I was going to be the asshole. Like, it was going to be one of the, like, you know when you go on Reddit, like, am I the asshole? Was I the asshole for yelling at this obvious downtrodden man? Wash your ass and you can run off. You know, I was like, I don't know, man. What if he lived there? kind of sounds like someone that would, like, react to your content. <laughs> Dude, well, immediately in that moment, because, like, I remember I was like, you know, this is the same neighborhood Hassan lives in right now. I kind of feel like the socialist. <laughs> I feel like the man sharing my resources with the common man. So I'm like, fuck, <laughs> enjoy your, your life. This is your moment. It's all good, this bro. Clean up. Moment. I have a Porsche Taycan, though. I, dude, right, I was... Man. You want a sponge or something? You keep washing help, yeah. that thing. Dude, I was scared shitless because that door didn't work. The front door lock didn't work. So I was like, man, this guy better run off into the darkness because if he figures out that door is open, <laughs> we are fucking gone. <laughs> Running off in the it's darkness like, is cool, but like like Meat said, if they are if they come back and they've multiplied, that's scary as shit. They will be back, and they will be back in numbers. Yeah, <laughs> the, the, yeah that, thing that, uh, that thing that fucking Hassan, though, the $200,000, what was it? The Porsche Taycan? Taycan. Porsche Taycan. Dude, he bought that to fucking trend on Twitter. Let's be he honest. Had to. He's a genius, now. truly. He really is. Like, he, he like, it's funny because when that whole, like, Twitch leak came out of, like, everyone making a shit ton of money, which never surprised me. I'm like, oh, you guys are shocked that XQC, the largest streamer on the platform, isn't making yeah, a shit ton of cash. I, it just it just shows how naive people people yeah. are. Yeah, but uh, also crazy. they made way less than I expected. Like really? I'm not gonna lie, they all made way less than I expected. Like, oh, top see, did echelon you, of YouTubers. Yeah. Did like, you compare it to like so much more? It wasn't including like donos or merch or anything like that, though. It yeah. was including everything, wasn't it? Not yeah, merch. Yeah, it was. It, not merch. Not merch. But it was including people, donos. Just like, uh, What's that mean? It includes like bit donations, but mm. not like direct donations. I was gonna say, yeah. I mean, the donations must be. I have, I, I literally, I've, I only a couple months have I ever heard from, uh, or even who Hassan is. I had no idea. What a controversial figure. Mm -hmm. My, my Dude, word. I had him in one. I drew. I did this video where I was drawing streamers, and I drew word. him in there. 
And it was like, so it was either, oh, I love Hassan, or people being like, why the fuck would you draw that yeah, guy? Exactly. And I was like, oh my God. At first, I was like, holy shit, is there some kind of like accusations that I don't know? And then I, yeah, I went and looked no, at him like, what just... the fuck even is this? He's just like hanging out. I don't, I don't understand the, mm -hmm. the heating. Well, because he's like a socialist like streamer where it's like, I want to get taxed more, but then it's like, you know, fucking, he always gets canceled when he buys some extravagant shit. Like the, mm. he had a, he bought like a house in West Hollywood, which like, the average price is yeah, like I think two million, millions, millions yeah. of dollars. Yeah, eat the yeah, rich, so but like, rich. Yeah, eat the well, exactly. That was, that, that, like, that was the funny thing with uh, what was it? Who was a uh, Nico Lowell or whatever? Didn't she do yeah. something like that? <laughs> oh, that was, that, was, yeah. that was really funny. She blocked me on Twitter. Oh, yeah, just for Chris. You don't get well, to see her OK Boomer thing anymore. I'm so well, fuck. I every now and then I would go back to her <laughs> pinned tweet with three hundred thousand likes and I would like, watch. Come it. on. Yep. Yeah. Every couple well, of weeks. what do you what do you guys I think about you. her crazy Dallas like skyrise like <laughs> apartment? You. She had like a two million dollar apartment. I remember like fucking In, like, Dallas. Yeah, dude, I or roasted something. it because I was like, "Who fucking buys a two million dollar apartment in fucking Dallas?" In Dallas. Hey, like, I can't wait to look at seven grocery stores around me that have been closed for thirty years. <laughs> She's like, "This is awesome! I can't wait to be in this vacant building." I, I think love she's the Dallas. Only person there. She's like, "I love the Cowboys. Go Cowboys!" <laughs> I, I watched that video with my brother, and my brother was like, "Why the fuck wouldn't you just buy like a mansion out there? Like, I'm yeah, pretty I'll sure get a some mansion. land." Yeah, dude. yeah, you can do whatever the fuck you want. Instead, you're in like, oh god, Dallas is just such an ugly fucking city. I hate. I, I mean, I went so down much. my phone when she did that, and I looked like looked at real estate in Dallas, Fort Worth. I'm like, yo, you could fucking buy a mansion, not a Mick mansion, like mm -hmm. a mansion real for mansion. two million out there. What the fuck? Yeah, you can build a commune and feed the locals. <laughs> yeah, you got a cult by you, dude. You can fucking yeah. I mean, Texas is anything. <laughs> I got a cult. I love that she moved to like she moved to a state without state tax too, which I thought was kind of hilarious. I always like it. I love it when you come across like so. That's always the best part about the socialist stuff. They moved to the most capitalist friendly part of the United <laughs> States. You're a socialist, like, but your accountant not a socialist. No, your accountant. Like, I, like, like, <laughs> I always like when people are say shit too. Like, oh well, they'll get us in property. I'm like, oh yeah. Yeah, I bet. yeah, I bet. I'm sure the state state is uh, so much vastly more than property tax when people say that shit. Oh, over yeah. there in Texas? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's nowhere even close. Yeah. It's not even close. Yeah, yeah literally. I lived in close. Oregon and it was like nine percent income Same. tax. And Virginia I was like to is, gouge out my fucking eyes. Yeah, it's like seven percent sales and then seven and a half percent state income tax, plus Damn. personal property tax, plus real estate tax. So Canada moment. Canada moment. Sorry, I was uh, that was the IRS telling me to fucking. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, boys. I think we might get audited with these fucking crazy rates. Don't you guys are talking to about. Me. You guys are talking about nine percent being bad, yo, motherfucker. I'm, yeah, I'm, Canada. That's, Canada. Canada. <laughs> That's just state. We got federal too. Yeah. Yeah. Plus I mean, our fifteen percent FICA. If you're self-employed. Hey, beats my 55% tax bracket. Fuck you. Not are you both in, are, mm -hmm. Wait, uh, are you guys in Canada then? You two? Yeah, we're yeah. in Canada. Oh, okay. That's cool. I'm in yeah. the good province. He's in like the weirder one. I'm in the shitty. He's in the, He's in the shitty one. He's in the French one. Uh, I've only ever been to Vancouver and I loved it. It was awesome. Vancouver's great. It's like kind of like our Los Angeles, I would it's say. It's a beautiful city. Couldn't fucking Very believe it. Beautiful. Yeah, except it's clean and it's beautiful. <laughs> Tor Tor <laughs> it, it's clean and... <laughs> And they have river. They have actual rivers, not yeah. just a uh, fucking slab of cement. And they're like, ah, yeah, we all, LA we all, river. but we're missing some of the culture, meat. Okay, we're Vancouver does. What not are you talking? Row. I went. So when I was in Vancouver, I, I went for an animation job. Uh, I went for an animation, uh, like, uh, fucking, oh my god, interview. And uh, mm -hmm. when I was done, because I know that uh, liquor there is taxed to like. Oh yeah, moon and back. excised up the ass over here. In Canada, it's crazy. Yeah. So I, I, there was apparently in the downtown area there was like this Jameson bar or something, and it was like stupid cheap for some reason. And I got fucked up there, and I saw every walks of life go through that fucking Jameson bar. I got drunk with these Australian guys, these architects or whatever, who were like, oh yeah, we're going to Nevada soon. We thought we'd stop through Vancouver, and like uh, that was yeah, it was just fucking crazy. It was an eclectic group of people. In Vancouver, so many yeah. people, people that didn't even speak English and fucking Russians and all sorts of imagine. shit. I didn't know where the fuck I was. I was like, it's also our money laundering place? capital. So let's, you know, that's why you meet all the eclectic <laughs> individuals. <laughs> I'm like, oh, my God, what are you guys doing here? Not, nothing, nothing, nothing. Just Washington buying land. Leave me alone. 
just buying land and property, friend. <laughs> Not just doing anything. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god, I love your accent. Where are you from? That's me as the American. <laughs> oh my god, I love your accent. You sound like a villain. <laughs> you sound like a Bond villain. The weird, like weirdest like thing I've ever gotten out, and like weirdest thing ever. So this is something weird, like about accents too. So I don't know how close it sounds, Zumpy, but like sometimes I talk to people over the phone, and like I was talking to like the you know the healthy gamer guy. Dr. K? Mm-hmm. He, yeah. thought, he thought I was from fucking Texas. What? He thought my accent was from like Texas or something. I'm like, I don't know what you're, I don't know what you're trying to say. Apparently I don't even sound fucking Canadian whatsoever. Like, I wouldn't when say you talks do to me. sound very Canadian. That's fucked I don't, up. I don't think I sound very well, I think, Canadian either. I think uh, people, I mean, at least from when I grew up, people, whenever you did like a Canadian accent, it's always, you know, oh yeah, hey. Oh, yeah, you know, hey. It, so when I think people would use that. that. <laughs> when we talk about, yeah. That's, oh, that's, that's, yeah, that, that, yeah talk how I met your mother accent. That's what a lot of the truckers sound in the convoy right now. That's what we know. No! <laughs> Look, I'm allowed to say it. We're in martial law at the time of filming, okay? So what the fuck? <laughs> All right, I'm allowed to. I have to stay indoors now. Otherwise, it's a dangerous fucking world at the moment, okay? Shit. But yeah, that's uh, that was interesting about, like, the... So, Vancouver. So you're out there for an animation thing, and, like, you're getting wasted out of the bar, and you see, like, Australian architecture. <laughs> Yeah, well, I was like, yeah, I was shit faced because it was this Jameson bar and their shots were like super cheap. And I was like, this is so weird because, yeah, everywhere else it was just insanely expensive for like just like a Jack and Coke or something. Um, But yeah, it's like these four guys and I was talking to him. I was just I mean, just so shit faced, just so absolutely drunk. You kind of have to be in Vancouver, though. I couldn't stand that city. It's too like. It's it's I don't know it's too clean you know it's, it's yeah, a lot of I, I thought I was in some kind of future I was I thought it's I was another utopian. planet I was yeah. like sitting there I was like oh my god they have trains in the skies kind of shit <laughs> I was like uh, yeah it's, I, you know it's, I, I guess it's rude to compare it to Los Angeles like L A has Skid Row and like Vancouver yeah. doesn't you yeah I well, from Texas and, and you get uh you get like different seasons and stuff too but the in fucking... L A you have homeless people washing their asses and yeah <laughs> dude, dude, and their every money. day is the it's same a different day. thing. Dude, have you That's ever seen the, the property around Skid Row, though? Have you ever seen how expensive that shit is? You're literally yeah, priced crazy. out of the homeless encampment in the area. <laughs> Dude, you can't even afford the homeless encampment in that city. This is how fucked it is. Like, I'm Skid Row so apartments are like a million. They're like a million and a half to buy a Skid Row apartment. Like, your view outside, it's like, we have an amazing view of the city. Yeah, you look down, it's like fucking just depression. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm so surprised when I hear anybody has a job that doesn't make them millions of dollars there. Like, uh, I have a couple yeah. of buddies in the animation industry, and we'll be, at, like, hanging out or whatever, and their buddy comes over, and they're like, I'm a baker. I'm like, how much are you getting fucking paid <laughs> baking <laughs> what to you live in this baking, fucking city? Dude. And they're always like, well, we have, like, six roommates. I'm like, there it is. Yeah. There, 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 it, there it comes is. up. Six yeah, we live in a commune. Yeah, we wash our assholes outside people's houses. In the <laughs> what, if, what if that's, like, the next thing to tell you? It's like, yeah, sometimes we Uber up to West Hollywood, and they have, yeah. like, spigots outside the front door, and we just get free fucking water. Call it, does, that, that, it, it sounds like crust spigot. punks, yeah. Some shit like that. Yeah. Call that a West we Hollywood do, bidet. Fuck yeah. See, it's like that's that's the thing. Like, if I if I had like grown up in that city and like you told me like fucking get a job, go to college, I'm like what, and never be able to pay off the debt, dude. I can't even pay off the closet that I fucking mortgaged in this place. What do you want me to do? <laughs> like shit. I was looking at all sorts of places, just like trying to trying to find places that aren't just so remote that it'd be terrible. But yeah, just trying to find like a I, a lot of my friends are moving to North Carolina, like Asheville area. I guess that's like cheap and nice right now, but. Yeah, I don't know. It's it, it feels like everywhere is just expensive. I can't fuck like, even like Kansas City now is expensive and fucking minimum wage is seven twenty five. One of my buddies built his like house in like fucking remote South Carolina, and that sh- that's that alone is still fucking expensive. So it's mm-hmm. like it it look it's an expensive fucking world to live in. All right, you know like remember when we were like kids and shit, and they told us. Hey guys, you know, you go to college, work hard, and yeah, work at this bread factory for eighteen years and retire at forty-two and be able to afford a huge house. I remember my mom's like, "We bought our house at for seventy-eight thousand back in the day." I'm like, "Shut up, bitch! God damn it!" <laughs> 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 Fuck you. I, I Fuck said that you. to my dad in a less colorful way. Yeah, my dad, my dad like, said- dropped out of school when he was thirteen, and he's just like, "Yep, retiring at 48 I'm like. Dude, fuck you, dude. <laughs> dude fuck, <are> you <laughs> well, that's what I had to tell my dad because my dad was like, you know, houses like in the market, you know, like fucking thirty years ago were like one hundred and fifty thousand. I'm like, Dad, you can't find a fucking laundry room 
that's one hundred and fifty thousand dollars. No fuck, you talking about a house? Like no shit, shit, a whole house? Like, are you sure you don't have like roommates? He's like, no. Nah. And then they tell you it's like life is, dude. In school, they always give you that bullshit thing. Like, ah, go to college, you'll fucking get a job. Good luck. I Good told, luck doing I, any I, of that. I have so many people come in. Like, if I'm streaming, I have so many people come in and ask, like, oh. I'm thinking about going to art school or something. And I just tell them like, don't first off. Well, the only thing that's good about college is if you're really terrible with like social anxiety and stuff, it could help you get out of that and like be able to like, I don't know, uh, be able to network and actually talk to people. But as far as the degree, the degree is worthless. What and I was like, if anything, it, take out a ten thousand like dollar lawyer stuff. Well, yeah, I'm I'm talking about artists, so worthless. But if so it's the, artists, anything that's licensed, like, yeah, anything yeah. that you need to actually learn for sure. But like animation or something, I tell people, I'm like, take out like a ten thousand dollar loan, pay your rent with that, and then just look up YouTube tutorials for I don't know two years or something like that. And well, next, did you go to side. art school? I did not. Okay, did. well, look at you. You're more of an and artist than me. exactly. I look at me. PNG right now. <laughs> exactly. <That's... laughs> like, Umpi, you go, to, you go to art school? I got kicked out, yeah. You got kicked out of art school? <laughs> no. How the fuck? Okay. Wait, I went to, I, I went to art school. school. I went to art school. Charlie did not go to art school. I think he went to yeah, like... Yeah, he did. He well, went I mean, to art school. I went to art school for a semester just to learn no like way. After Effects. Dude, I walked in there and like... Yeah, so this is the funniest thing. I, I was the biggest asshole in that class because I already had like a job and everything. So when I walked in and like I asked the other students, I'm like, oh, what are you doing? I'm like, this is like my third time at college. I'm like, okay, so what did you do to begin with? And it's like, yeah, I went to journalism. And I was like, oh, so you fucking got that degree? Realized that did fuck all for you? And then you came in here and this is going to do fuck all for you? It's like I mean, from gluttons for punishment, I guess. I, I don't get it either. I don't understand it, I mean, but yeah. That said, my, my brother just got into med school, and like he looks at how much it is. Per, it's like $55,000 yeah, a semester fuck. kind of thing. Like That's insane. I went to homeschool. Were any of you guys homeschooled? Hell yeah, dude. I, I mean, was no. not. I wasn't a no. fucking loser, dude. <laughs> <laughs> know. Oh, just, no. be a, just be a total dick for no I know. <laughs> I, I, I had no control over that. I'm like, I don't care, dude. Fuck you. <laughs> Uh, dude, you would be surprised, uh, or you probably wouldn't be surprised at all. Uh, telling people I'm homeschooled, they're like, that makes sense. <laughs> that makes sense. It's actually like, well, how does that make sense? It's like, what are they going to ask me? It's like, well, I mean, Ompi believes that the earth is 6,000 years old. I so. do not. That's not true. There you go. There, there's <laughs> no. the facts. It was not. Yeah, fucking you facts. Get, exactly. You got that, you got that good got teaching proof. coming. It's in a book. Um, when you were watching the VHS about the Earth history, did the dub go, Mountain Dew is the best drink ever? Did RC it do that? RC Cola and Moon Pie. Yeah, well, exactly. He won't stop dying on the Earth. Do you have RC Mommy. Cola right now? I j- actually just ran out. Yeah, yo, yeah, okay. My oh, okay. Yeah, likely. Yeah, sorry. what? <laughs> Dude, I swear to God, Instacart. It's on the fucking order for Instacart. Okay, show us right fucking give us that receipt. Hold on. So you're like, yeah, do you have RC Cola in your fridge? I just literally fucking guzzled the last drop before mm-hmm. I filmed this one. Uh, I'm all added cheese jizz or whatever the hell it's called. Cheese, cheese, cheese. cheese. <laughs> well, that's what the that's what the spray can version is, man. The, the cheese whiz. <laughs> that stuff is fucking disgusting. It's like, wait, what? Are you? You're not joking? You're like, I'm not joking. Serious? The spray. They have spray can cheese. You didn't know that? Aerosol it's not cheese. Called cheese jizz though it's called no, cheese, it's cheese jizz. Jizz, no. i mean i mean sometimes i get the sharpie and i change it to cheese jizz but it's not actually <laughs> okay. cheese jizz but yeah that's that's spray cheese and it is as disgusting as you could fucking imagine yes sounds pretty bad that's like some state fair fucking food you know look at look at uh look at caleb just Hold adding on. it to his cart real no, quick no no i'm not i'm trying to, I'm trying yeah, to find it. It was it's not on H- you can't get it from h-e-b you only get it from brookshire's I haven't gotten a Brookshire's order I like order how in a H-E-B doesn't even carry RC Cola. Yeah, H-E-B doesn't even carry They're like, no one's going to buy it. They're dusty on the shelves. Get them off. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. They're like contaminated and shit. Fuck that. They, they changed their can, though. It looks good now. It must it must have been like a fucking while ago, Caleb, because you're really looking through your receipts oh, no, it, right it, this, now. <laughs> the RC lasts, it lasts me weeks, weeks, months. I, I th- yeah, because you don't want to drink it. We bought it in December, yeah. I think. You know why? You it, it lasts me months and this weeks. This looks so fucking gross, dude. It looks like medicine. Looks yeah. like a, uh, it looks like a, like a, like a meal shake. That's what it looks like. One of those cans. Oh, you're just showing us a screenshot. I know, I can't yeah, find dude, the order. That, that, it's, that it's looks like a can of fucking Insure, bro. That looks like a can of Insure. 
It's called like oats. Like, yeah. thick like oats. Old, old people are gonna use that to stay <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, I better get cola. my thick oats from the Instacart there. He actually, he's like actually ordering more of it too. I can, I'm, I'm like, I'm like looking at his muscles and his arms, and I'm like trying to anticipate like what he's up. tapping. Yeah, I'm tapping, bro. Like, there we go. It's like fucking 99 <laughs> cans, overnight shipping. <laughs> Pinwheels, RC Cola, and Moon Pies are, I always have a, and, and oatmeal cream pies and cosmic brownies, I always have a solid supply of. Dude, how the fuck do you have such a slender body? I eat one thing and I just balloon up to like, I can't have one star crunch. You're these talking about all these, you had the whole little Debbie catalog. I do, I really, I eat at least a cosmic brownie a day. I don't know, it's good genetics. My dad's 48 and has like an eight pack. He's shredded. Well, I don't know. also, if you do cook some fucking amazing food, sometimes I'll go yeah. on like like Oompy's Twitter and he'll have like a beef Wellington. I'm like, how the fuck is this the same guy that's chugging <laughs> RC Cola and then <laughs> cooking <laughs> fucking <laughs> beef Wellington? Like, fuck you. Nothing right? pairs better with beef Wellington than a nice aged RC Cola. <laughs> oh my. And they're all aged yeah. too. I yeah, love all... when, Oompy, do you go to like a steakhouse or something and like fucking when they're like, they're giving you the wine pairing, you're like, shut up! Give me the RC, <laughs> the RC. with yeah, I, my well, fucking I, I, fillet. I, I, I'd love to hear that rejection every time. Do you guys have RC? They're like, no, we have Pepsi products. Yeah, they. No. Uh, you you cannot get RC cola anywhere. You know yeah. why? I wonder no. why. <laughs> Don't say why, because you're wrong. <laughs> you have RC? Are you serious? You're like, uh, what's that? <laughs> what's RC? Do your eyes light up when you go to like the Jack in the Box and they have like that mix your own drink like vending machine? Oh yeah. And you dude. click on the cola and you're like, RC. Fuck yeah, boys! Let's go. Start screaming and stimming. <laughs> yeah, slapping your he, belly. He was and the clapping. kid that said to his mom, I, "I want RC Cola," and his mom just gave him Coke and said it was RC Cola. What's the What's the other brands they have? Like Mountain Lightning or something? Instead of Dr. fucking Ma, Mountain. Those are those, those are those are those great Walmart brands, dude. Dr. Love <laughs> Dr. Thunder, Mountain Lightning. I'm telling you. Have you like guys that. ever had Dr. Bob? No. It's no. uh, it must that be a, North, a northern thing because I have only saw it in Virginia. It was probably it's from a Is uh, that Dr. Pepper. Like, it's like a Dr. Put, Pepper ripoff. Yeah, Dr. Bob. Dr. Bob. Yeah, check out the the. Does Dr. Bob have a medical license or like <laughs> are we just gonna fucking? No. Dr. Bob's like Dr. <laughs> Phil. All right. What a great. <laughs> I see, I see, I see two, two by, by, uh, side by side here, uh, Doctor Bob, and of course, uh, it's equal Doctor Pepper counterpart, uh, Mister Pig, which is oh, another. I want to, I want to make a tier list of great value drinks with you, Caleb, when I fly down. Absolutely. There. Like we should just sit down and be like reviewing. And you're gonna like actually read them and be like, all right, F tier, F tier, F tier, F tier. RC Cola. No, no, no. Mood is, Mood is gonna taste. You're, you're just gonna switch to, like the bottles of the RC Cola and the Pepsi. Gonna yeah, he's gonna like, like he's yes, gonna like the S-tier. night before the night before yeah, he's gonna like Coca Cola and like rebrand it as RC and I'm gonna have RC. I'm like, oh wow, RC is really different in fucking Texas. <laughs> this shit is actually good. Wait, oh my, wait, oh my, oh my god, yeah, man, the East Coast must be fucking me in the ass with RC because down in Texas, this shit is as good as Coca Cola. Maybe oh. even better. He gets like the original Coke that comes in like the glass bottles Pretty that you good. can only yeah. find. So those I didn't know, but like you can only really find them down in like the south and shit, you know, like the original. like Because yeah. mm-hmm. I think they import that from Mexico where like because Mexicans are like, we don't really fucking appreciate corn syrup like the Americans do. So we're just going to use real sugar. Like, yeah, yeah use cane sugar. Yeah. And then I tried it. I'm like, that shit is it's pretty good. Amazing. Spicy. Oh, it's, way, it's so it's so much better. Yeah, I think I do think Coke though. Co- this might be a you know a galvanizing opinion that I'm about to lay on you guys. Here we go. Coca Cola. Uh, here we go. Is only good for the first sip, and then that's it. I think it's disgusting <laughs> you get, you after told that. Told us this opinion. Like, I do you have like a million half drink bottles of Coke. Yeah, I really do. I only finish Dr Pepper's and not really Pepsi. I don't like Pepsi. Do you have like? Do you have like one like? Like swig of the coke, and then you leave it for like a day, and you come back. It just, down and it's it like, just oh, loses. Dump the rest down. It just it just do- doesn't have the same full body that RC Cola has. <laughs> Dude, how much money does RC give you? Like, actually, are they paying for the candy? Like, are they paying for everything? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> There's such a good woody nutmeg taste to the RC that really makes it age. Right? <laughs> it tastes like it really aluminum. Makes, it, I love. That. I will say, I will say, cola and in cola in general. Casks. Dude, I'm general, literally like, looking at the diet Dr. Bob can. I'm looking at the Dr. Bob can. Yeah. This shit is like, this looks like something out of Grand Theft Auto 5. It's terrible. <laughs> like, it's a parody. <laughs> I, I think it's I fantastic. Dr. Branding. Bob sounds like the kind of doctor you'll find on the Joe Rogan experience. Dr. Yeah, Bob. Doc, dude, I, dude, the Joe Rogan experience, that dude is getting, that, that dude has gotten so much shit in the last two weeks. I hate to be him and his. 
He's getting fucking destroyed. The White House wants him to shut the fuck up. It's kind of insane. Wait, what? Yeah, there's like the White House, like medical chiefs who are like, yeah, we oh. think Joe Rogan's kind of stupid. So we'd like him to kind of, you know, Spotify to jump in. And I'm like, I'm like, first oh off, God. what kind of an idiot is watching Joe Rogan taking it seriously? Like you're, that's just natural selection kicking in, bro. Not, not the other way around. Come on. Like I look, I love watching Joe Rogan, but I, sometimes when I watch his show, I'm like, if this guy could talk about DMT the whole episode, you know he fucking would. <laughs> like you yeah, know he would. Yeah, it'd be funny if he was like, I'll, it'd be funny if he was like, I'll, I'll stop, I'll stop talking, I'll stop recording. If anybody can come down here and leg wrestle me and win, fucking you need. I could, dude. I, dude. <laughs> I, I wonder how many people. I feel. I feel like yeah, Caleb. You could take fucking Joe Rogan on. You got at least Hell like two no. feet on him. He's like, he, I'm. You got two feet he's, on him, he, but he's a troll. <laughs> Yeah, he's a he's a little ape. <laughs> yeah, he, his he, muscle, hey, well, he's nothing can, but muscle. Yeah, he it's like okay, watching a gor- it's like looking at like a footage of like gorilla in the jungle, and you're like, oh, it's peaceful. He can't right, like skateboard. slams its fist into the ground. You're like, oh my word. Let's do that his thing where drag. we like we'll train like Caleb. We'll get like a personal trainer. We'll like fucking bulk <laughs> you up like Chris Evans, right? Okay. For like eight months. <laughs> But we're going to pay a CG artist, so every time you make a video, you look this skinny. Okay. So, like, out of nowhere, you'll, like, fucking start beef with Joe Rogan. Like, yeah, I'll fucking come down to Austin and 40, kick your fucking ass. $40 million <laughs> in debt with CGI and training. Yeah. And, and he still like, gets his ass kicked because Joe Rogan has, like, 35 years of, like, mis- yeah, mixed martial true. arts training. Black no, but, like, we'll, we'll get you all trained up. We'll hire, like, some fucking Delta, for, like, Spetsnaz dude to be, like... <laughs> We'll train you, like we'll turn you into a fucking human killing machine. It is going but to take a lot of work. Yeah, exactly. Well, yeah, he's gonna be like, it is going to be very difficult, but I'll turn you into ex-Soviet <laughs> killing machine, and then we'll fucking start the beef with Joe Rogan. It's like we're gonna kick your fucking ass. So oh, he has no. no idea. He just watched <laughs> he just, your last video. He just doesn't like, even respond. You don't even get to fight him. <laughs> oh, no, he's, he's gonna he's gonna oh, respond. On. We're gonna hit him where it hurts. We're gonna Sam. we're gonna be like. You must be this tall to fight hey, Caleb, and that's hey, going to be enough to piss him. Hey, yeah, some short, guy. bald guy. Hey, some head. <laughs> you fail. Hey, hey, bald guy. <laughs> He's like, motherfucker, fuck. I bet your ass is hairy. When you sit down, it sounds like you sit on a bag of chips. I feel like um, when uh, so when like Ethan button. Klein was having his beef with him on Twitter and like Joe wasn't responding, he just didn't I feel like it. I feel like all Ethan had to do is just be like, "You must be this tall to come on the H three podcast," and that would have been fucking enough to send him out to a dizzy. Come on, how tall is Ethan though? He's got to be taller than Joe because I see Joe and it's like, it's like have you ever seen the photo of like it's Joe like standing next to like? Around. There's a there's, there's a funny <laughs> edit. He's got he's got that Keemstar bod. There's that funny edit of uh. Joe Rogan standing next to Jordan Peterson, but it looks like he looks like a four year old child. Yeah, yeah, that's, <laughs> what, that's the one I'm talking about. It's like really short, dude. It's really, really funny. I mean, like Joe, Joe Rogan's like he's he is a troll. Like he's fucking strong. He's got like 35 years, of, but there's nothing you can do to like increase your height, aside from like some deep ass cosmetic surgery, torture rack. He's gonna yeah, he's exactly. exactly. Torture like, rack and stretch himself medieval out. Medieval yep. sodomite torture. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah some crazy, some crazy shit like that. But that's that's generally the whole understanding that I got. Like that's probably the one way to draw him out. But I will say during that whole beef or whatever, like the fact that he didn't respond, I'm like that's some that's some like class act shit. Like I mean, I think that was pretty pretty great on his part. Like well done, dude. If somebody was beefing with me like that, I wouldn't respond either, and like Same. that would just be like the instant, immediate win. I just like, know that I, I mean, it was kind of like you know Ninja versus Pokemane, that whole beef, and like she like posts DMs, and the whole internet's hating on him, and then he just starts playing Fortnite. <laughs> He just goes That's live and plays Fortnite. He just doesn't care. Oh, oh yeah. It, wait, didn't Ninja sue her or something like that? I, I'm so fucking. I awesome dude, I have no idea about that no, whole that thing. That's weird. a that's like an interesting way to like sort of tie off this episode. Is like, what happened to all of that? Like, fucking Pokimane. <laughs> like she, so she gets hit by that one guy, Jideon, right, or whatever the fuck it, yeah. whatever that wait, dude is. Hit? It's like. Not hit. No, no, sorry, no, no, not no. hit. Like he Rated. he oh. rated her chat with the L plus oh, ratio. L plus means. ratioed. Yeah, I you, yeah, I thought you were saying okay. Oh no, 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 Holy God, shit. no! That, that, that was dude, GDM's not a reaction channel. He doesn't no. just go around hitting women, okay? Yeah, go. no, God, no. He like jumped <laughs> in and L plus ratioed her on like Twitch chat, which like okay, I get it. You violated Twitch harassment rules, but like it's also L plus ratio. Like, come on, calm down now, all right? It's not like this dude sent the fucking. It's not like this dude opened the floodgates of like complete, you know whatever it happened so like fucking she he gets his account fucking like suspended for like 14 days 
but he keeps oh, wow. doing it on another platform. So because that's <laughs> another rule broken, it's like permanent suspension. Now, I don't know if he's unsuspended because him and Pokemon are cool, but like out of nowhere. And by the way, like at this point, I'm like, I don't know the full story because I'm like out in Houston, like chilling. I open up my phone and I'm like, oh, Ninja, like his wife apparently sent like fucking messages. His brawless wife threatened a lawsuit. Yeah, <laughs> threatened some lawsuit. And I was like, oh, so really? <laughs> That's how it happened? Coolest lawsuit ever. Well, cool. he, he looked like a total <laughs> asshole. Apparently, She made him look like a total asshole, I guess, on Twitter. And he kind of just like the next day, he's like, he, that night he's like, all will be addressed. Tomorrow he like starts up a live stream. It's like, all right, boys, let's play fucking Fortnite, build some houses and shit. Why not? Like fucking no fucks given, it's no funny, care, Pokemon no nothing. Pokemon on his stream right now is like Gideon, the guy that started all of this. He apologized to me, but Ninja didn't. Dum dum yeah. dum. Like it's still sort of. I can't be fucked to just. I mean, I just, I just don't give a fuck about any of it. It, it just, it just exhausts me. It's like I feel like I'm in high school or something. Did you hear this? No, I don't give a fuck. I, I think care. what it like, what makes me laugh is like the sniper wolf shit, where like she goes to dying fan. Because you couldn't take five minutes away from her busy schedule of reacting to TikToks to send one call. Like, what that, gets that, me that, is that, like, that, like that's, that's a funny. Bit of a memory slip. Like, that's, that's fucking old. Oh, David, was that today? David Adam, oh, David Adam time is the most precious thing ever. She died. Oh fuck! Oh, oh crap! Oh, oh. Ah. better make a reaction. <laughs> like, <fucking Yeah. laughs> that is a sniper wolf. A reaction channel in the water. Like, you gotta be imagining, like, your sniper wolf and, like, her fucking mansion and shit oh after it's, like... 30 million subs. Holy shit. Dude, she, like, your sniper wolf sits down in her mansion after she's done reading the Google Doc reaction to TikTok videos. And, like, as she sits back, she's like, oh, do I call that kid with cancer or... Hell no. Yeah, fuck that, dude. I got shit to do. I got steakhouses to this go to. This isn't contagious, yeah. is it? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I, 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 I won't catch this over Instagram live, will Why is my, I? Like, I, my chest fuck? hurts. I, I have a, my, my throat is scratchy. <laughs> oh, I think Saltish. what gets me, though, is like fucking, I think what like exhausts me the most out of it is like when I go on Twitter and like you see the Google Doc link and it's like, trigger warning slash i'm like oh fuck dude somebody's getting called out for some heinous fucking shit and it's just like it actually is the most soul draining stuff that you'll ever read about and it's like mm -mm, not for me nope i'm backed out of it but yeah. uh yeah it's stuff like that that makes me like it's so like low i would say risk shit like the sniper wolf stuff that wasn't low risk like unfortunately that girl did pass away the terminally ill one oh my however God. she did get to talk to sniper wolf before she passed away mm -hmm. so and yeah, she only she, goes through her initially. In, exactly. Yeah. True. So only only all, while like before she got ugh. called out, obviously. Thank God. All's yeah. good. All's good at the end of the day. That girl got to talk with Sniper Wolf and then Stan Lee next. So it's like all fucking, you know, different. Wait, in that Stan regard. Lee? Yeah, Stan Lee, because she passed away, so she gets to He's speak dead. to Stan uh, Lee. Man, dude. Oh wait, so she so her two wishes were to talk to Sniper Wolf and Stan Lee. Okay, no, I'm all right. I think you, Stan you, Lee you missed it, bro. You missed it. Oh sorry. No, no, you're I mean I'm saying Stan Lee to be the asshole. She went into the afterlife and started talking to Stan Lee. Yeah, I don't. I uh, Red Skull, I don't know. you know, all the Spider Man. <laughs> <everyone>. readers, exactly. <laughs> but like that's that's generally the stuff. And you know what? It's good that she did talk to the fan after all that shit. It was great. I'm glad that fucking Sniper Wolf took the five minutes out of her day from the Google Doc. Pretty bare minimum. <laughs> I had yeah. to, dude, I had to, dude, it was surprising how many people don't know that though, Caleb. Like, I was on stream and people were like, oh, she's finding these sick off. I'm like, no, yeah. look That's at it. Crazy. She wears the glasses. Yeah. You can see it in the glasses. She literally just reads. There's no video. She just reads <laughs> and then they put the video over what she's fucking saying. Oh, God. Dude, literally, the Yo, bullet point. It's like, she's not it's six a reaction bullet point, YouTuber. Right? She's a she doesn't react. She's a she's, she's a, a no, scripted she, channel. Oh my god. She's not a reaction channel. She's she reacts AI. to a Google Doc. What are you talking about? She's an AI. That's a guys. Google, yeah, dude. She looks at a Google Doc and says, "That's that's what I want to do." That's <laughs> she's what an I want to do. Oh, narrated. that's what my opinion is. Artificially yeah. inseminated. That's what, I dude. Love so, this so I was movie. on stream and I was like, dude, Sniper Wolf's like fucking create, like her, her fucking video product must be easy. Like you go on Fiverr and you underpay somebody to write your scripts for the month and then you just fucking record them and you pay the editors. Like, oh, just slap the video. Done. Yep. Fucking stay. You pay, you literally can genius. pay for your fucking Lamborghini genius. in like a week. She's a fucking Easy genius. Shit. Dude. She's a fuck, dude. Girl boss moment right there. Gaslight one girl day, boss. Hot chip. One day I want to get Sniper Wolf on and I just want to like fucking definitely extract 
the information about how she produces content. If she ever bullshits me and says, yeah, I sit down and I find TikToks in the morning. Oh, and I record really? Th- I'm like, oh. <laughs> well, I've got proof that you just sit there, you. I'm just going to I'm just gonna hit her up so I can get a loan. I, I'm just going to I'm gonna go full I'm, I'm, Alex I'm, I'm Jones on her. Strapped. I'm like, yo. I'm going to go yeah. Alex Jones on her and be like, you're fucking lying. It's a conspiracy. We all know you got Google Docs on. Show me your, I'm going to ask her, I'm going to be like, show me your fucking browser history and all the 99 results are going to be Google Doc, Google Doc. I'm like, I don't see no TikTok in that. I don't see no YouTube in that. We know what the fuck's going on. We should get uh, her boyfriend Sausage on our podcast. Her boyfriend's name is Sausage. I There's so much about this site that I don't, I don't know. All these characters, Sniper Wolf and she's dating Sausage and they're rich <laughs> and they look at Google Docs all day. I'm like, I, dude, what the fuck that's... kind of like Harry Potter world is this? Dude, I lo- dude, but it's, it's that part of the world. I just love how like low effort it is. You know, I, like, yeah. part of me just like, it's amazing. Dies in happiness. Cause it's like, she's found, it's like, you know, like that old formula. It's like, alchemist gold or some shit like how to fucking make gold mm-hmm. she's found how to make fucking gold literally yeah truthfully literally yeah it's like you go on tiktok you look up fucking you literally look at the trending category and it's like wow i know exactly what's paying the fucking bills today shit top 10 tiktoks that'll leave you oddly satisfied even uh, the titles <laughs> so i'm writing perfect. all this down for my second channel this is going to be great I, I i firmly believe if you do this like actually if you do this on a third channel no connection to me, Kane. You no connection to you. You that'll probably outclass your main and every that'll outclass any channel. Okay, in like so a span of like six months. I'm just just kind of doing it as a test. I'm starting another channel called Nuxcord tomorrow, where I'm posting every single day. If Discord makes me laugh, I lose. Episode one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm just gonna post that video every single day. Forever. If Discord makes you laugh, I, basically I'm gonna go on stream, ask my Discord to send me clips, and I'm gonna look at clips and. Like, okay, but like, like this is gonna be like a twenty-four lose, hour fucking video. No, no, I just you all know Discord's not fucking fun. Okay, so baby, I don't lose, huh? Ever think of that? <laughs> I just don't lose. I do the first ever YouTuber try not to laugh challenge where I don't laugh. <laughs> yeah, it's like a continuous YouTube live stream that never ends because you've never <laughs> laughed fucking once. That's what it is. Oh, but you know, we are reaching that one hour, 30 minute mark. And we've talked about a lot of stuff. We went from Tom Brady's weird kisses all the way up to the sniper wolf lore that I think me Canyon's like, actually like our fucking buddy here is actually like absorbing, you know, he's, well, he's in on it. I don't, I don't want to say that, uh, you're going to see my channel be a bit different in the future, but <laughs> yeah, don't be surprised. I guess. Don't be surprised. Fully expect it. Well, first. I- Drink an RC. That's what you need to do next. I'm gonna drink an RC, and I'm just gonna. To God, I'm gonna no I matter what, I make myself throw up, and I will record it and I will edit it in a way to where it is. You will not be favorable in this, in the end result. I'm okay. gonna go fucking. Is there RC available near me? I'm gonna go buy a can of RC, and I'm gonna I'm review that shit today. Too. I'm not. I'm gonna see RC no, cola, you. RC cola in Canada. They don't have RC in Israel. Sedge. <laughs> oh my they- God! It's made here. <laughs> What? <laughs> what the fuck? RC's made in my hometown? No way, what? Wow. What the fuck this is big this? Big twist. What the fuck? That is fucking insane. It was introduced 117 years ago? And they make it in fucking Mississauga? What the fuck? <laughs> I do like how every soda is just from like hundreds of years ago. <laughs> Why can't yeah, they just what the- created? <laughs> 1480. Fuck it, for real though. Like, holy shit. <laughs> it's a World War One fucking product. Well, <laughs> before think, that, it's think fucking, about it's like, ah, uh, we just, uh, we, you know, we're we're settling up in a new town. Well, it's think like about Bob, think about cola though. Like, what's in cola? What's the ingredient? It's just fucking phosphate and all this weird shit mixed into one. <laughs> so clearly, it was never once engineered to be a drinkable yeah. product. It's the philosopher's stone. <laughs> I'm I'm actually surprised, man. Fucking, this is like my hometown. I could literally go to this building right now. Do they, no, do they bottle it? I thought it was from like, hmm. It's such like a southerner thing. It no, it's like all oh, to me. It's all non-U.S. branded ones. So mm. anytime oh. anybody not from the south is drinking RC, okay. it comes from sense. my hometown. That makes sense. Well, that's why it must be so shit all here. Right, Dan. All right, Dan. We don't, okay, okay, then. Yeah, I'm we, we don't get we don't get this. We get like a Canadian version of RC Cola. Which, <laughs> yeah, the first RC Cola ever was 1905. Wow. It was designed as a way because people believed Coca Cola was too expensive. The actual syrup, so 
Hell but, yeah. You, RC Cola is literally the capitalist invention to like fucking price match Coca Cola. <laughs> that's that's awesome. <laughs> All right. Well, you brought us in here, Oompy. It's time for you to take us out. Uh, thanks for watching the Some Ordinary Podcast. <laughs> that's it. That's the answer. All right. That's the one. Special guest, uh, Meat Canyon. He's a great and talented artist. Do you have anything you want to uh, show our audience or you want people to go flock to and see and Spam R- I love RC Cola on in your comments. <laughs> no, stands for Royal okay. Crown Cola. <laughs> if they, if if, they, if, if you want to, look, I mean, if they want to look me up, they'll they'll look they'll type in me Canyon probably. True, and no one's made it this far anyway. So okay, okay, there yeah. you go. So yeah. um, yeah. Anyways, thanks for watching. Well, thanks for chatting, guys. It was it was yeah, awesome. It was a ple- yeah, yeah. Pleasure meeting you, dude.